Cavs all season on FM 1039 and AM 1220. Street with WLPO mobile app or by asking your smart speaker to play 1039 WLPO. And now you can watch and listen to LT football. Find the link at starfrock.media or search and subscribe to Starfrock Media on YouTube. Now, LaSalle Peru Cavalier football on 1039. WLPL. Good evening, everybody. Jeremy Aiken and Mike Porter here from Morris High School Cavalier Football. Week number five, of course, it'll be the fourth game of the year for the LP Cavs, and they're looking to keep their winning streak going. A perfect 3-0 and coming in, but uh, arguably their toughest task of this spring season awaits them tonight in the Morris Redskins. Uh, Mike Porter, uh, when you look at some of the teams across the state in football every year, you got your Julia Catholics, your Jenna Seals, and usually Morris is up there as far as just a football program year in, year out. Yeah, Morris has been there every year as far as I, even when I go back to my teenage years living in the suburbs, I remember seeing Morris uh, always competing for playoffs and state titles and whatnot. So, yeah, and this is going to be a tough one tonight for the Cavaliers, but if they do what they've been doing and you know keep the mistakes to a minimum, you know they got a real good shot. Yeah, Morris uh, is three and one. LP three and zero. Oh. Last time these two these two teams played was uh, in 2019 at Howard Fellow Stadium, and it was a defensive struggle. The Redskins beat the Cavaliers in that game, 13 to nothing. But of course, these are uh, new teams, and LP, as Mike uh, mentioned, uh, has been playing very good football. Of course, they won their opener, 29 nothing over Rochelle then beat Plano 14-7 last week, a 34-6 win over rival Ottawa. Morris uh, started with three straight wins. They beat Rochelle 27-13, Plano 35-12, Ottawa 35-6, and then they lost last week in a tough one at home to Sycamore 21-14. So these teams uh, have shared opponents yep. with Rochelle, Plano, and Ottawa, and you look at it, and the scores are pretty similar. Right. You can't really gain too much out of that. No, I, what the one thing I'm looking at uh, when you look at these uh, scores are the defense that the yes. Cavs played. So, you know, if they can do that tonight against a real tough Morris offense, uh, that would be saying something for sure. So, you know, they're, they'll have their hands full, and uh, I, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, we're looking forward to this one. It's a beautiful, beautiful yeah. night for football. And uh, Morris, like LP, is beautiful new turf yep. uh, installed. In the off season, they built uh, new home stands as well with a new home press box. We're in the uh, old uh, visitors press box now on the east side of uh, Morris High School. But uh, beautiful evening for football. And we're going to follow some other games uh, in the area tonight over on 99.3 WHAK. You got Hall hosting Rock Ridge. That will be the Red Devils finale in uh, 2021, at least the spring season. And uh, in the Interstate 8, Caneland at Ottawa going on tonight. Rochelle at Sycamore, and then there is a cancellation, and that's uh, kind of the times we live in. Uh, Plano at Sandwich, which is like LP Ottawa as far as a rivalry. Yep. Yep. Um, right one of the schools, <laughs> yeah, the Warren 34, I believe, is what they call it, and uh, that game has been canceled. They're trying to scramble to somehow maybe play that one uh, before the season is over. But, uh, yeah, you can't take any games for granted, so we're happy to bring you this game between LP and Morris tonight from Morris High School. We're going to step aside and continue our pregame show with uh, the coach's interview with Jose Medina. And when we come back, uh, me and Mike will be back on. We'll tell you about uh, the coin toss, the weather for tonight's game, and we'll have the opening kickoff. LP at Morris on your home for Cavalier Football, 103.9 FM, 1220 AM. Of course, you can also view the webcast on uh, Star Rock Media's YouTube channel. Zach Shaw doing the video tonight. Check it out. Just go to YouTube, search Star Rock Media, subscribe. And you can watch and listen to tonight's LP Morris battle. We're just moments away. We'll be right back with more pregame coverage from Morris High School, Cavaliers, and the Redskins on 103.9 WLPO. When a play breaks down on the football field, you've got the rest of the game to make up for it. When something breaks down at home, you need prompt and professional service. That's why at Town & Country Services, their phones are manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to ensure that your problems and questions with plumbing, heating, and cooling are all taken care of promptly and professionally. Town & Country Services offer free estimates and affordable rates. Their licensed professionals and friendly staff have been a staple in the Illinois Valley since 1919. Give them a call anytime in Tonica at 815-442-3415 or Princeton at 815-872. 2200. The OP Cavalier pregame show on 1039 WLPO continues now with our coach's interview with head coach Jose Medina. 
And uh, Jose last uh, Friday night took care of business uh, in a win over arch rival Ottawa. Um, one of those, uh, you know, wins where you were in control pretty much throughout. And um, other than just the last second score going against you, it uh, seemed like another game, Coach, where uh, offense, defense, special teams all coming together pretty well. Yeah, I agree. I think, uh, you know, we, um, you know, offensively, we, we had that nice first drive. I mean, you know, special teams-wise, we, we gave uh, the offense a good field position to start off. Uh, right up at uh, Gizmo with uh, Drake Weber running that nice little return back uh, to the, I believe, the 45 or 40 yards. Um, and, you know, offensively, we just kind of, you know, took control of the line of scrimmage and, you know, I thought uh, we did a very good job of controlling that line of scrimmage and, you know, just moving the ball down the field uh, offensively, defensively, you know. Uh, we did a very good job of uh, taking care of business of, on, on what we had to do. And, and, and as, as you said, I mean, you, you, you try and get kids in there to uh, get them opportunities to play. And unfortunately, it, <laughs> it was one of those little fluke plays that kind of went right through the hands of the uh, of our defender and right into the hands of, of uh, the Ottawa players. So, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm in total agreement. They, you know, we played a, a very good, solid game uh, in all areas. And, you know, I, I say bummed with a, a kind of a, a snicker a little bit, Coach, but how bummed were you and the players on uh, giving up the shutout there at the very end? I know uh, defense this year has been fantastic, and there's always pride in shutting teams out, uh, but it wasn't one of those things where it was just – it seemed like everybody was kind of stunned a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it was it, it was kind of one of those blue plays. I mean, if you if you look back at the film, the kid, our 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 player had you know had it in his hands. It just kind of bobbled out of his hands and right into the uh, Ottawa player. But you know, it, it, it's always nice to get a shutout. But you know, it, it it's always a, also a good thing to just get those uh, young guys in there to give them an opportunity to play and, and trying to compete. And, um, you know, unfortunately, it didn't work out our, uh, in our favor in that that aspect, but. Uh, you know, it, it, a positive thing is kids got to play. So that, that, that's the main thing. No doubt about it. And uh, getting to play last week, uh, it was in question for a little bit was uh, Tyler Hartman. Uh, Coach, Tyler played on defense and then yes. came in a quarterback late in the game. I guess uh, talk about the the thought process of, uh, you know, sprinkling Tyler in a little bit at quarterback and also playing defense. Yeah, we just, uh, you know, we felt off uh, defensively, you know, we wanted to kind of just limit him uh, as far as reps when it comes to defense. We were, uh, you know, giving him a series, you know, taking off a series type of, uh, you know, that, that was kind of our game plan going into that week. And we wanted to get him some, some reps on offense, uh, on offense as well, too. So, you know, Sean did a great job of commanding, uh, commanding the offense through, uh, for the majority of the, uh, of the game. And, you know, as as we kind of talked about it, we wanted to give Tyler a little bit of uh, some reps there as well. So, um, you know, it worked out for, for, for the both of us on defense and offense. So, uh, And he came out, you know, pretty healthy. Uh, are we going to see both Sean and Tyler at quarterback against Morris, you think? Uh, you know what? Uh, I think this week we're going we're, we're gonna to start out with Tyler, uh, see how he does, and then, uh, you know, go go from there. I mean, you know, Sean, as I said, he's, he's a good he's a good athlete, and he's, he's able to step in there when we need to put him in there. Obviously, you're going to be uh, facing a very good team, Jose. Uh, Morris, one of those programs uh, across the state that each and every year is solid. Um, what are you looking at as far as this year's uh, Redskins team? You know what? They, uh, they're they a very good, solid team. Uh, you know, they, they, uh, they've got some good athletes. They've got some good, uh, some good size there as well. You know, it, it's going to be a tough game for us. It's going to be one of our – it's one of the, it's one of those challenges, uh, those, those games that we want to challenge ourselves uh, to, to compete. And, and, you know, our biggest thing is we want to come out there with a victory, and, and it's going to take uh, four quarters of, of Cavalier football to uh, to do that. And do you look at it? You know, Morris is one of those programs that is known across the state. And, Coach, as you continue to build an LP program, um, it's one of those, if you can get a win over a team like Morris, it raises some eyebrows and I think – takes a program to a next step don't you think yeah yeah it's 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 one of those it's you know we've we put we put uh these last two games on you know on our radar i mean this is one you know i'm not taking anything away from those other two games that we played uh but these are the two games that i think uh you know can as you said put your put the program in, in move it in a in a in a zone in an upward direction and you know get that program where we need to go Final thing, Coach, is our LaSalle body and fender injury status update. How are the Cavaliers uh, looking on the health side of things? You know what? Uh, 
pretty good. Uh, not there, there are no real injuries. You know, Tyler's been doing pretty well. Uh, he's been getting better as the week goes on. So, uh, you know, I think we're going to be full strength and, um, you know, ready to go to take on Morris. I wish you the best of luck, uh, Coach, and uh, go get those Redskins. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. If you get the vaccine, can you quit wearing a mask? The answer is no. Certainly not until the pandemic is under control. You can find additional questions and answers at the IDPH website and also IDPH on Facebook. Jeremy Aiken and Mike Porter back, and we're going to take one final break for the anthem. We'll be back with opening kickoff, LP Morris, right after this. Switching is easy. We do it all the time. We switch on the lights. We switch TV channels. Some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, State Farm agent Jessica Strauch, right here in Peru, can switch you over so you can start saving today. Jessica and her team are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Jessica Strauch, it's easy to switch and save. This is Jessica Strauch. Give me a call. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. A message from the National Police Association. It used to be that any able-bodied person would offer to assist a police officer in danger. Now, passers-by are more likely to take a video. There's a better use for your phone when an officer's in trouble. Call 911. Tell the operator where you are and what you see. Then, start your video to provide evidence later. To learn more about how you can assist law enforcement, visit nationalpolice.org. That's nationalpolice.org. You can get pretty banged up playing football if you're not careful. And sometimes, no matter how careful you are, your car gets banged up due to an accident. If you've had an accident, LaSalle Body and Fender will help you score the best deal in auto body, fender, collision, and dent repair. LaSalle Body and Fender's been in the Illinois Valley providing excellent auto repair for three generations. They work with all insurance companies. When your car gets banged up, call LaSalle Body and Fender, and you can call them for 24-hour towing, 223-0598. A tradition of news and sports 103.9 wlpo star rock news talk and classic rock jeremy aiken mike porter back uh, from morris high school and uh time now for our hometown national bank coin toss tonight's coin toss brought to you by hometown national bank don't leave your financial future up to a coin toss let the folks at hometown national bank help uh, the cavaliers won the coin toss and they have chosen to defer so the Morris Redskins will get the ball first uh, during the opening kickoff. Uh, weather, beautiful, beautiful tonight. Game time weather brought to you by Town & Country Services. Whether it's hot, cold, dark, or light, Town & Country Services is doing whatever it takes 24-7. Go to townandcountryservices.com to find out more. And, Mike, just a picturesque night. Yeah, you really couldn't get much better than this. Right now at kickoff, it's going to be 61 degrees, and by 8 o'clock tonight, it's only going to drop to about 54. No chance of rain at all, hardly clouds in the sky. Um, I know one of the parents were uh, talking earlier and saying they're getting kind of used to this spring football uh, <laughs> With this weather, so obviously in the fall you don't know how you know it could be very hot to start that. So I don't think that's going to change the calendar in Illinois for spring football permanently. But you know we've been very lucky with yeah. weather all year so far. Yeah, and we got uh, tonight's game, and of course next Friday night will be the finale at Howard Fellow Stadium against the Caneland Knights. Again, uh, LP three and zero, Morris at uh, three and one. Coming into tonight's game, the Redskins lost late. They gave up a touchdown, I believe, with less than a minute to go last week in uh, losing at home to Sycamore. And, of course, LP had their way with Ottawa and were just one play away from having their second shutout of this season. Again, uh, urge you to check out our webcast of tonight's game. Let folks know wherever they are that you can watch and listen to the Cavalier football game. Go to YouTube and uh, search out Starve Rock Media and uh, subscribe and uh, catch all the LP action. We'll uh, have video next week as well as the Cavaliers will close things out at home against the Caneland Knights. Again, we're going to have a kickoff uh, here about a minute or two. It's There's no JV games this year, right. so games usually starting promptly at uh, 6 o'clock. Again, the Cavaliers will be kicking it off to the Morris Redskins, and the opening kickoff for this high school football game is brought to you by Eureka Savings Bank. Since 1885, Eureka Savings Bank has been proud to be a part of this community, helping people just like you. Eureka Savings Bank member FDIC. So the band is heading Clearing off the, the field. field, and we're about ready for football again. Morris, like LP, 
uh, the wave of the future now, the next turf. And uh, I haven't been down on the LP's turf yet. Have you, Mike? Yeah, I, I hear did, it's uh, yeah. soft as uh, the other side of the pillow. It's yeah, uh, pretty I nice. I walked down uh, that the last ha- home game just to see what it felt yeah. like, and it was like walking on uh, very thick shag carpeting. So <laughs> it was very nice. Totally different than what I was used to when I played I football. Bet. So, um, you know, tough, hard grass. So uh, Cavs, you know, they're lucky to have that kind of field. Mm-hmm. And, you know, Morris obviously got that this year too. So, uh, like you said, it's the new, it's the wave of the future. Yeah, so really, I guess LP is going to end up playing what only one game. Plano was natural grass, You're right? And yep. they'll uh, have three home games on the turf, and then here, right. uh, Morris on the turf. So, right. and the the game week one would have been on the grass uh, in Sandwich, but of course that right. game did not happen. So. We will follow again some other games tonight. Hall will kick off at 7 against Rock Ridge. Again, other games in our conference, the Interstate 8, Caneland at Ottawa, Rochelle at Sycamore, and Plano at Sandwich. Uh, that game has been canceled. Of course, next week will be homecoming week uh, for LP. I know that might catch yep. some people by surprise. Normally, homecoming is obviously in October or whatnot. But So I know uh, they'll have some festivities. I know variety shows on Monday. They'll have what they're calling a reverse parade. Yep. At yep, Rotary they're Park. Doing, you're doing all sorts of things. They've got spirit days every day yeah. of the week, you know, for the kids. Obviously, you know, they're not going to be have, have a homecoming dance, so which is usually one of the highlights of homecoming week. But they're going to try to do the best they can and right. have that reverse parade, uh, like you said, at Rotary Park. So at least give the kids a little bit of a feeling of homecoming. Um, so, you know, it's, it's all for the kids. They're just doing as much as they can just to yeah. try to make it a reg- somewhat of a regular year. And uh, I know uh, baseball and softball, uh, some – Schools have gotten underway. I believe yep. LP will be getting underway next week. Track and field season uh, getting going as well. I guess the traditional spring sports. And great to see they will have a postseason for yes, uh, those yep, those will. sports that were you know robbed of a season right. last year. There will so. be a state uh, track meet. Yeah. There will be a state uh, series in baseball and right. softball, so, among other spring sports. So, yeah, like you said, they got robbed last year. They didn't yeah. get anything. So this is, you know, a little bit of a makeup, I guess. But uh you know, we'll see how the uh, LP baseball team is going to be. That looks to be pretty strong. Also. Yeah, and I know there's some athletes on this football team who won't be making the yep, quick they'll transition. Be playing. <laughs> yeah, they'll be, they're practicing along yeah. with baseball, you know, on a separate field, just getting some, you know, getting their arms warmed up and whatnot. So, All right, we are ready for the opening kickoff. Again, LP won at tonight's uh, hometown National Bank coin toss, and they have chosen to kick off. And uh, here we go. The Eureka Savings Bank opening kickoff. Drake Weber makes the approach, and we are underway. Drake with a line drive kick. It's going to go close oh. to out of bounds. Redinger takes it at the 10 for Morris. 20, 25, 30, 35. And he's going to have a nice return almost near the 40. For LP making the tackle was Trayvon Hunter. But uh, good return for the Redskins to open things up as they will start their first possession uh, at their own 39-yard line. Morris moving north to south here at uh, Morris High School. So I'm glad see. you're here for the directions because I yep. did not realize we're north to south. So yes, thank you for we that. are. Yes. <laughs> directions and, and mile markers. That, that's another thing in oh, mind, Mike. For whatever right. reason, I'm a mile marker dork. I know all the mile markers. All right. We are set for Morris. They will come out in the uh, pistol offense. One back in the backfield. And uh, the quarterback's going to keep it. Turns it up inside. He's past the 40, out to about the 42-yard line. Quarterback keeper, and that was for Morris. Number 19, Zach Romack. He's 6'2", a junior. And uh, he got about, oh, three yards on the carry. Second down and seven coming up for the Morris Redskins. New scoreboard here as well. Very nice. Yeah, they might have a video replay on that too, I would imagine. Low snap. Romack going to throw to the sideline. It's caught. And that'll be uh, likely enough for a first down. Making the catch was Keegan Puckett. And, oh, he's going to be just shy. It's going to be third down and about one for the Redskins at their own 48-yard line. And uh, they're not wasting any time. No huddle. No huddle. Romack, the quarterback. Going to hand it off. First down up the middle. He's uh, out past midfield. And that was Redinger. Sam Redinger, a 6'1 sophomore with the first down carry for the Redskins. So Morris comes out and moves the chains. And just like that, they're on the LP side of the football field. First and 10 at the Cavalier 49-yard line. We are a minute into this one. 
And uh, Romack, he's got some running room, 45 down to the 40, carrying a couple Cavalier defenders, including Trayvon Hunter. First down, Morris to the 35 of LP. Yeah, he's a big kid, 6'2", 190 something, so uh, he's going to be a load to take down. And he's carried the ball a couple times already. Three receivers for Morris. Redinger and Romack in the backfield. They're going to pass, and it's caught at 33. He's got one oh. man to beat, and he may beat him oh. for a touchdown. That's going to go for 35 yards. Corey Walker, or uh, actually that was uh, Miles Johnston, and uh, he got one-on-one -on -one coverage, and once he got past the LP defender, it was easy score there for Morris. So Morris, with a lightning strike of a drive, uh, they wasted no time. At 10:21 of this first quarter, the Redskins take a six-nothing lead. Yeah, like you said, he was uh, one and one on that defender over there, and once he got past him, there was no one there but green grass. So, the extra point is up. It's plenty distance, and it is good. So the Redskins jump out on top quick over the Cavaliers. They march down the field. Uh, they got a really nice kick return to set up that scoring drive, and it ends with the uh, pass from Romack to Johnston, 35 yards, pretty much untouched. And uh, the Redskins leading LP is seven to nothing. And it's the first time this year LP's trailed. Yeah, you're absolutely right. That defense has been, like we talked about in the pregame, it's been the strongest part of this team. So they're going to have to figure something out to uh, stop this Morris offense. So uh, let's see if LP can strike right back on offense. As, uh, this defense hasn't been <laughs> giving up yardage like that. Uh, in that uh, much nope. of a hurry, but uh, the Redskins strike big early on. And they lead the Cavaliers 7-0. Back deep for the Cavs, Weber and Hunter. Looks like the kicker for Morris is Henry Hansen, six foot three junior. A lot of juniors we're calling here so far. <laughs> so yeah, Morris so. could be around for a while. Yeah, it's a program. They uh, they don't rebuild. They usually just reload. And end over end kick. Trayvon's going to take it about the 12, the 20, the 25. 30, oh, he's got 35, oh, he, 30. He's open. And he's oh. all the way out to midfield. So both teams with fantastic kick returns. Trayvon even better than Morris's return. LP will set up shop first and 10 at the Morris 49-yard line. Actually, they're a little bit further back. Uh, they pushed it oh, back. Oh, yep, 46. Yeah, they pushed it back to the LP 46. Yeah. So still great field position yeah. there for the Cavs. So you heard in the uh, coach's interview that Tyler Hartman will start the game at quarterback, and Tyler is indeed out there for the Cavaliers. Got some action in a quarterback late last week against Ottawa. 7-0 Morris with the early lead. 10-15 to go here in the first. Hartman under center and handoff straight ahead to Carrico, I believe. Off right tackle. Matt gets maybe two on the play. Maybe one. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, it looks like a, a nice two yards. Two yards. Second yep. down and eight for the Cavs. Yeah, Carrico has been the workhorse so far yeah. this year. So uh, he's been doing a really good job averaging probably almost close to 100 yards a game. Second down and eight for LP. Kurtz and Hamilton are the wideouts. Carrico behind Hartman. Tyler goes under center. And he's going to drop back and pass. He's in trouble. Oh, geez, he did not have any time at nope. all. Brought down at about the 42-yard line, making the sack for Morris, was Devin Bailey, number 61. And uh, Hartman, a straight drop back, and the pocket collapsed in a hurry. And uh, LP looking at a third down and along on their first possession of the game. Matt Luke was there as well for the Redskins. Loss of six on the QB sack. Yeah, as soon as Tyler uh, passed the back there, he was <laughs> had Redskins all over yeah. him, unfortunately. So the offensive line is going to have to do a little bit better there. The Cavs in an uncomfortable position now, third and 14. And they're just going to hand it off and nothing there for Carrico as he was brought down by Drayden McCaro in the backfield. So Morris was not fooled on the running play in a third and long. And uh, just like that, the Cavaliers will have to punt it away to the Redskins. 
Drake Weber will go back. So the Cavs go three and out on their opening possession tonight. Yeah, let's hope the uh, long snap uh, is okay here. We, the Cavs have been having some issues with the long snapper, so they need a good snap to Drake Weber so he can get a good kickoff. Looking at the wind, it's there's not a lot of wind out nope. in the field nope. tonight. So it should not make an impact. Snap is low. Uh -oh. Drake's got uh, gets oh. a boot off. Still pretty good punt. Yeah, good kick for uh, having to run around, and there's still going to be a return. Wow. Morris takes it at 30. I think oh. there's going to be a hole Holding or a block in the, in the back. Right. Yep. Yeah, I'm surprised 29 picked it up, but he was uh, he got it and he had a short return. But like you said, there's a uh, flag on the play, so we'll see what what that is. Aiden Romack was the returner from Morris, but uh, the flag was right about where he uh, picked the ball up off the turf. Again, you got to think it's either a hold or a block in the back. Yep, holding. All right, so that will uh, push Morris back a little bit. 7-0 Redskins, eight minutes to go here in the first quarter. Okay, well, they're back up to uh, inside their 20, it looks like, so up right at the 20. Steve Morris sticks with that uh, no-huddle offense. It worked very well. They spread things out with uh, three receivers. And that puts uh, the Cavaliers in a position where uh, usually man coverage. Romack again. He's going to oh, pass. Same play out there. They got the touchdown on. LP uh, is on him quicker that time. Johnston is knocked out of bounds. Tackle made by LP's Ethan Bell. But, uh, yeah, Johnston gets a lot of cushion and makes another catch and another gain. Well, probably eight yards on yep. that play. Yep. So LP is going to have to maybe make some defensive adjustments here with this uh, Morris passing attack. Yeah, their quarterback's just taking one step and throwing it right there and letting the receiver do its uh, do his job. Second and two. They hand it off to Redinger. Oh, there we go. He is That's stopped. a good play. Redinger was uh, knocked backwards by a host of Cavaliers, including Chris Swain. Yeah, Chris Swain and uh, Levi Reed, the star of the Cavs defense so far this year, uh, took care of the runner on that play. No game there. Third and two now. It's a big play for the LP defense. Romack looking towards the sideline uh, for the play call. Zach Romack, the quarterback. Let's see if he calls his own number here. And he yes, will he run. Does. And he is searching well, for the yardage. I think, I think he got gonna, it. He's going to be very close. Yep. Yeah. Oh, they, well, it's, I think they already. Yeah, they'll probably give it to him. It's right on the 30 yard line. So. Yep, first down. Yep. Romack got just enough for that first down. First and 10 from the Redskins 30 yard line. So first and ten, Morris. Yeah, it's kind of tough to stop a six-two quarterback. Just <laughs> he can just lean over the line there. They're gonna pass. Oh, he's passed. He's going deep. Well, pump oh. fake throws and well over throwing Johnston on the coverage for the Cavaliers was Ethan Bell. So they moved Johnston over to the other side that time, and uh, just Romack did a little pump fake, but uh, had too much mustard on that throw. And it falls harmlessly incomplete. Second down and 10. Seven minutes to go in the first. It's 7 nothing Morris over the Cavaliers. And Morris not huddling up on offense. Romack rolling to his right. Looking, throwing, and caught. And at side to 30, it's Johnston again. Yeah. And he is breaking Dragon. tackles. Swain and Hunter make the tackle, but not before Johnston. He gets out near uh, the 45. They'll mark it at the 44-yard line of Morris. So uh, Miles Johnston has been a handful so far on the receiving end of things, and now he's going to be uh, guarded by David Narkis. And they hand it off, and not much oh, there. There's a great play in the backfield. It looked like uh, Weston Wenzel with a tackle for a loss for the Cavs. Yep. Yeah, and he came from the back side of the field, so he really just came down the line and got the running back behind the line. So good play by Weston. Brought down the uh, Morris running back, John Landers, a 5'9 senior. Second and 11. They're going to do the quarterback keeper. He turns it inside, and he Ooh. is hit. Yeah, another uh, big hit by the defense. Luke Murtis. Uh, Luke Murtis and actually Tyler Hartman is yep. out there uh, playing defense. So interesting that the quarterback is playing defense also. So that was a short gain by the running back there. Yeah, so. he got two yards. 
the quarterback, Romack. Three receiver set once again. And they got to watch out for Johnston. He's been the go to certainly has receiver. Oh, he's got press coverage here. And they're right on him. Uh -oh. And oh. Uh, the quarterback scrambling. He's, he's in trouble here. And he's going to be brought down. Dude. The Cavaliers take Romack down. And uh looked like making the final hit for the Cavaliers was Reed Robisa. Yeah, that time the LP did not give the receivers uh, that cushion. Came up on him. Oh, Drake Weber seems to be a little shaken up. Drake's going to come off the field. And uh, going yeah, back I don't for... Think they're, uh, they're not punting, it doesn't look like. Yeah, unless the, yeah, unless the quarterback... Unless, yeah, unless he does, backs it up and... It's fourth and long. Might be just taking it down here with the uh, trying to see if LP will be drawn off sides now. He backs backing up a bit. Up a bit. Yep. And he will punt it. Not much on it. Yeah, it's going to take a Morris, a, bounce. a Morris bounce for sure. Inside the 20, and uh, the Redskins will down it at about the 16 yard line. So after that uh, lightning strike of an offense for Morris, the LP defense comes up big that possession and forces a Redskin punt. 7 0 Morris, 4.55 to go here in the first quarter. Cavaliers will start this possession at their own uh, about 17 yard line. Cavaliers were three and out on their first possession. They had uh, quarterback sack and uh, two runs that didn't go much anywhere. So we'll see what uh, Tyler Hartman and the crew have in store this drive. Yeah, I can't tell if Drake Weber came back in. I see. I don't see him. No, he's right getting now. some treatment there with the trainer. The trainer here, so. yeah. Tyler Hartman under center. And there's Carrico. And this time, Matt's got some running room and some momentum. Out to about the 25-yard line. Nice gain for Carrico. Gain of about eight. Yeah, he ran He ran on the back of uh, Andrew DeMasso, the lineman there, and just rode him for eight yards. So, Be second down and two now for the Cavaliers. Long two, short three. About the 24-yard line. Tyler takes his time getting under center. Hunter goes in motion. Another handoff, Carrico, and again, just follows his blockers yep. out near nice. the 30. Nice run there. Five, six yards there for Carrico. So the big boy is just pushing up front, and uh, LP moves it out to around the 29. That's the first first down of the evening for the Cavaliers. 7 nothing. Morris on top of LP. Harbin back under center, 83 total yards of offense for Morris so far, eight for the Cavaliers. And there's, uh, is that Larios maybe, or is that Carrico again? Well, it's hard to say. There's it was Carrico, in there, yeah. and so. about five Redskin jerseys on top of them. <laughs> so, yep, one yard gain there. Second down and nine for the Cavaliers. And Drake Weber getting some treatment on the sideline. Whitfield comes out in uh, on this offensive play will be Levi Reed for the Cavaliers. Just underway at Morris High School. Let's see if LP tries to go back to the air here. Second down and nine. Reed goes in motion. Hartman's going to keep it. Tyler is able to turn the oh. corner, and he's got some running room out close to the 40 where the first down marker is. Yeah, Tyler was pretty close to a first down. Yeah, he was stiff arming a defender. It's going to be just short. So a third down and one for the Cavaliers at the LP 38 yard line. A nice eight yard run by uh, Tyler on that play. Cavaliers trying to settle things down after that uh, initial haymaker thrown by Morris. Yeah, I'm, I'm just wondering if they didn't see that in film, if they yeah. were not doing uh, no huddle there before. So, oh. Armin with a hard count almost. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like someone jumped, but got back in time. Play clock was down to zero, then they restarted. I'm not oh. sure what happened there. Yeah, I don't know. I don't see any flags. No, I Hartman think, just went right up the middle. I, I'm not sure what was. I think they're giving him the first down. So okay, it was yeah, it was third and short. So Hartman just did a classic uh, quarterback keeper and uh, got enough for the first down. Moved the chains. LP will have it first and ten at their own 39 yard line. Receivers in this uh, set offense: Drew Lane and Osvaldo Hernandez. 
Hernandez has shown some playmaking ability this season. Yeah, we've seen him make some, like you yeah. said. Yeah. Two minutes left in this first quarter. Tyler going to do the option oh, pitch yeah. to Trayvon Hunter. Trayvon's done pretty well with that uh, so yeah. far this season, too. He and stayed he, in bounds, too. He did. I, yeah, I kind of gave up on the play. <laughs> I thought he was out of bounds. Uh, then Trayvon turned it up and got maybe four more yards after I initially thought he was out. Yeah, so he made it all the way. 46-yard line. Yeah, nice uh, seven-yard gain by Trayvon. Stayed in bounds as the clock continues to tick down. Second and three for the Cavaliers. 46-yard line of LP. Reese Kurtz and Drew Lane are the wideouts. And oh, Harden. right up the middle Carrico. there. Carrico, big hit. Forward uh, progress, though, should put him really close to the first down marker. Yeah, he was hammered. Yep. Driven back, but, of course, like you said, forward progress. So can be just short. 49. Yeah, it looks like just short of the uh, first down. Third and inches. Not even a full yard for the Cavaliers here. Third and a skosh. <laughs> you figure uh, LP would, we don't want to worry about going for it on fourth down, but uh, when it's a matter of inches here, especially with the big guys they have up front. And Hartman, yep. again, will just take it right over top, and Tyler gets the first down, just dives over the pile and uh, move the chains. Yep, that's all you want to do there, and, right at midfield. Yep, right at midfield in the middle of the big M. Here. Or a W from a, from our uh, yeah from our point. side it almost kind of looks like, like a w. w doesn't it? <laughs> and they kind of cater to the uh, as you would imagine yes. the home fans who are yes. on the uh, I'm going to use my directional knowledge here again on yes, the west side you. of the yep. field. A little colder uh, on their side because the sun is actually shining on LP sideline. Yeah, I've got an SPF 30 on right now because <laughs> of the sun here. So and there's nice Tyler. run by Tyler. He got yeah. nine yards on that play. Tyler Hartman, the quarterback keeper. And give Tyler, as Mike mentioned, nine yards on that carry. So the Cavaliers with a nice drive going here, and uh, that's going to be the end of this first quarter. It started out very shaky with Morris scoring uh, with less than two minutes gone, but the Cavaliers have settled in here, and they're on the move. We'll be back with the second quarter after this. It's LP trailing Morris, 7 nothing. You're listening to Cavalier football on 103.9. WLPO. Buying a home is exciting. It can also be intimidating. But now with the Ownership Advantage Mortgage from Financial Plus. Finance up to 95% with no prepayment penalties, no mortgage points. Payroll deduction is offered. You can do weekly or bi-weekly payments, and you can rest easy knowing your mortgage will be held locally by Financial Plus. Take advantage today. Find FPCU with locations in Ottawa, Peru, Mendota, Morse, or Diamond, and online at financialplus.org. Offers available to FPCU members. Rates, terms, and conditions are subject to change. And based on creditworthiness, qualification, and collateral conditions, loans subject to approval. Financial Plus Credit Union is equal housing opportunity lender under NCUA CSI. Stick around for more great rock after the game on 103.9 WLPO. Starved Rock News, talk, and classic rock. And stick around because uh, the Cardinals are playing right now. And uh, when we wrap up our broadcast here, we'll uh, take you to Redbird Baseball. They started right about the same time we did here at Morris High School. And uh, baseball games tend to take longer than football. They'll so. probably be in the third inning by the time this game's over. <laughs> they could be, yeah. That was a pretty fast-moving first quarter. <laughs> yep. As a LP, uh, most LP games are going to be fast-moving if they have their say because they're going to run the ball a lot. Now, Morris has come out and thrown the ball a little bit, which uh, slows things down. But uh, the Cavaliers, on a nice drive here, this drive started inside their own 20-yard yep. line. Yep, 17-yard line. So, And Weber is back in the game, right. so uh, I think they were – Looking at his neck or something on the uh, sideline here, but yeah. it looked like to be, oh, a trainer checked him out and it looks okay. So he's in the game now. First and 10 LP at the Morris 42 or second down and two. Hartman going to throw. Tyler throws it yep. over Nolan Hamilton. Nice job by Tyler to get that one away. Yeah, he had no shot there. He had to get the ball out and it was still only third and two. So no harm there. Tyler Davis made the hit for Morris. Third down and two. So LP decided to air it out a little bit, and that one was nowhere near the intended receiver, Nolan Hamilton. No harm done. It's still uh, you two downs to try to get this first down, just yep. two yards away. Morris in their home red, almost maroon. Maroon, yep. And uh, Washington Redskin, well, at least they're old. 
old helmets before they became the Washington football, football team. team. Yep. Perhaps Morris will become the Morris football team soon. We'll we'll see. Third second or a third down and oh, two. Fumble, fumble, oh, fumble, fumble. snap. Ah. Tyler got the ball, but he's gonna lose two yards in yep. that play. So it's gonna make it a little ah. bit trickier with fourth and four. I'm sure they'll still go for it here. Yeah, it's fourth and four, but uh that's tough. They haven't had too many of those negative plays like that this season. Yeah, the Cavs have had those in the past. We've noticed uh, you know, they have good things going and then something negative. Yeah. But yeah, like you said, this year has been very rare, so We'll see what the coaches can come up with on a fourth and four play. So big early play here for the Cavaliers. Let's see if Tyler does a, a hard count, tries to drop, draw the Redskins offside. Tyler's going to keep it, and he's hammered backwards. It's going to be up to the forward progress. I don't think he got it. No, I'd say he gained probably two yards, yeah. but they needed four, so that's not going to do it here. Morris is going to take over. So the Cavaliers' drive comes to an end. And a turnover on downs, a, a costly a fumble exchange on a third and two, and that put the Cavaliers at a fourth and four. And uh, they gave it to Tyler, and you want it in his hands, but uh, Hartman could not get it. And uh, Morris back on the field now with a 7 nothing lead over the Cavaliers, and they'll have good field position at their own 42-yard line. Again, three receivers set. Yep, spreading it out here. Low snap to Romack. He's going to keep it. He's got running room. 50, 45, 40. Down the sideline. Goes out of bounds. Trayvon Hunter will get credit with the tackle, but uh, Romack went out on his own all the way down to the Cavalier 36-yard line. So 22 yards there run on that play. Their quarterback, Romack, Zach Romack, doesn't have a lot of speed, but a lot of, air, a lot of green grass there yeah. or, or uh, field turf out there. First and 10, Morris. Romack going to keep Another it again. Keeper. Another and, keeper. And uh, he's hit hard by Hartman, but he spins ahead down to about the 31 of LP. Five yards on that play. Second down and five coming up for the Redskins. Yeah, they're just spreading out the defense, and the quarterback's running near up the middle. So uh, middle linebacker's going to have to do a job here. And Romack on the throw. There's Johnston. Nope. Gets the block, turns it inside. 20, 15, 10. Touchdown, Morris. No <laughs> flags on the play. That goes for 31 yards. Just a quick hit. And he got the blocks on the outside. And, man, Johnston showed some speed. And uh, he has made two big uh, touchdown catches for the Redskins here in the first half. That comes at 10.33 of the second quarter. Romack to Johnston. And the Redskins lead the Cavs 13 to nothing with the uh, point after pending. Yeah, they had a nice play. They got it, got it to Johnson on the outside, and he came in and had a block right there, and he was able to outrun any all the defenders. And he had a lineman out there. Yeah. Uh, I saw 63 yeah. who was able to uh, Oh, they're going to do gonna a two-point conversion. It, and he's oh. in trouble, throws it up for grabs. Oh. It's incomplete. I don't know if that was meant to do that yeah. or not. I don't know. I'm not really sure, but uh, I'm kind of strange to go for two here. But. Yeah. So uh, the Cavaliers force a miss on the uh, two-point conversion. 13 to nothing, Morris with the lead over LP. Uh, 10.33 to go here in the second quarter. We'll start to take a look at some of the, uh, in some 6 o'clock kickoffs tonight, a lot of 7 o'clock games as well. Was there? I was wondering if that was kind of a standard thing, the 6 o'clock no, game. No, it's or up, to the, uh, up to the schools. And yeah, whatnot. the okay. conferences. Yeah. Okay. Early on first quarter, uh, Streeter with a 7-0 lead over Lyle. The Streeter Bulldogs. And again, our uh, scoreboard updates throughout this season brought to you by Subway in Spring Valley, Peru, LaSalle, Marseilles, and Oglesby. Enjoy a sandwich made with freshly baked bread and fresh ingredients right in front of your eyes. Subway, eat fresh. So we got uh, Drake Weber's back there along with uh, Trayvon Hunter, I believe. So let's see if the Cavs can get a good return. Still a lot of time left in this game, but yeah, LP had not trailed yet this season before no. tonight. Henry Hansen, a 6'3", 200-pound junior, is the kicker. Yeah, you'd like to have him as your last uh, last resort to try to bring down a ball carrier as a kicker. Yep, that's a short uh, short hit. Kick. Yeah, Hunter's going to have uh, the best of it here. Trayvon at the 20, 25, spins. Oh, he's still up. And going to be hold on to the ball. Yeah, taken down about the 30-yard line. 
So the Cavaliers will have pretty good field position here. Throw yeah. up 31. Yeah, whenever you get past the 25, that's a good start. It's just a good start. They had a nice drive going, uh, but then they had a big fumble on the exchange that put them in a precarious fourth down situation, and they ended up turning it over on downs. Let's see if the Cavaliers can get another drive going here with 10 and a half minutes to go in the first half. Again, we're back home next Friday night for the uh, season finale against Caneland. It'll be homecoming week for the Cavs. Reese Kurtz, the lone receiver in this set for LP. Hartman under center at quarterback. Tyler gives it to oh, Carico. Yeah, nice, Man, nice. Matt. Yeah, with a nice gain. Nice I'll pass the there. 35. There yeah, is the some helmets. The offensive line on the left-hand side did a really nice job. There is some helmets cracking on that one. And uh, Carico put his head down and took on one of the Redskin defenders and gets five on that carry. So second down and five for LP. Sun starting to set a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, Carrico is a 5'9", 170-pound junior. Runs so a lot bigger a, than not, that. Yeah, he's not a not a heavy kid, no. but he's uh, definitely got some strength. Kurtz again in the wideout spot for LP. And they go Carrico again. Oh. oh, we might get a false start. There was a flag. Oh, Man. boy, he ran all the way to midfield. But it may come back. 14-yard run, but uh, I think it's Maybe a hold there, too, because their official put the flag yeah. right where it happened, so usually those are spot fouls. The center for LP got a huge uh, – I mean, he's the one snapping the ball, so he should Oh, know. no. Oh, okay. He The, uh, the official initially said Morris, but uh, yeah, changed I mean, his mind to LP, which is probably correct. Yeah, yeah. LP's so, offense already yep, backing up. Yep. So each team with a penalty here early on. Penalties, uh, thankfully, so far this season really haven't been – no, not too much. Not, not too much, really. So that's Pretty the, clean like games. you said, that's the first one for LP. So uh, they're going to break it down another ten yards from spot. So it's going to be second and long. Yeah, they'll move it back to the LP twenty-eight yard line. So second and twelve. Took away a huge gain up the middle. It was an impressive pile moving forward for LP and Matt Carico. Yeah, so they think they can get uh, six yards or so on this one, make third down manageable. They don't want to get down into third and nine. No. Tyler just has not had the time to uh, on the throws that he's had. So see what the Cavs can do here. We got one receiver off our right, the Reese Kurtz, I believe. Mm -hmm. Second and long for LP. The ball is set, and uh, we're back. Tyler Hartman uh, may be audible at the line of scrimmage. We've got the play clocks here, so we got plenty of time. They just run off a uh, tackle straight ahead, Carrico, and they got the back to maybe the original line of scrimmage, a little shy of it. Eh, about third and 10 coming up for LP. Brings up third and 10. Yep. So we think the Cavaliers will go to the air here. Yeah, the two receivers they've been playing have come out of the game, so we'll see. We got number uh, ten Whitfield's in there. He can he can make plays. Yep, he's a he's an athlete for sure. And uh, seventeen, we got Osvaldo Hernandez. Hernandez. Yep. Yeah, he's made some plays like we said before. Third and long for LP. Let's see if the line can give uh, Hartman time to throw. Tyler's going to pass straight drop back. He does have time. Overthrows oh. Weber. Yeah, he was trying to hit Drake Weber out in the flat and uh, just overthrew Drake, and it goes incomplete. And uh, the Cavaliers will have to punt it back to the Morris Redskins. Yeah, they had the right idea there, getting yep. Weber out there in the flat, but the pass kind of floated, and uh, Drake had no shot. Back deep for the Redskins is uh, Aiden Romack. Oh. I would guess the brother of the quarterback. Yeah, exactly, Romack. Maybe so they're twins. Maybe, I was going to say yeah. they're twin, uh, twin brothers on Could the be, team here, yeah. yeah. But we won't speculate, but that's <laughs> uh, two juniors, the same last name. Could be cousins. Yep. Weber with the punt. Drake gets a nice, nice punt away. Punt by Weber on that one. Still going to pick it up. Yeah, going to take it off the, the Oh, that could have been a block in the back there. It was yeah. questionable. But. And he reverses field. He's at the 40, the 45. At the 50, oh, still he's got going. got a lot of moves there. 45 of LP, the 30, 25-yard line before he's finally brought down by the punter, Drake Weber. Hmm. Yeah, it wasn't... Uh, I mean, it was kind of slow developing. Yeah, he just kind of followed his blocks and uh, 
just took his time and uh, found a hole here, found a hole there, and brought it all the way down to the 25 of the Cavs. So Cavs defense is going to have their hands full here. Yeah, Weber made the tackle. Could have been a touchdown saving tackle for LP. 13 nothing Morris. And uh, they have the best of it here, starting at the LP 25 yard line. Romack and Landers in the backfield for Morris. Again, three receivers set. They got a tight end as well in there. And yeah. uh, Romack going to keep it. Gets past the initial line of scrimmage. Boy, it looks like uh, Weston Wenzel again with the tackle. Swain is uh, helping him out There's as well. Swain and Wenzel with the tackle there. Short gain, two Maybe, yards or yeah. so. Very deliberate offense they've got here. It's been effective against the Cavs. 13 nothing Morris. Romack going to throw. He's got time. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, he, he He's scrambling the throws. Incomplete. Yep. And uh, it'll be third down and eight. Yeah, it looked like Hartman was yep. uh, applying a lot of pressure there on the quarterback. So LP with a big play here defensively. Third and long against the Redskins. You got to watch Johnston. LP's going to, I think, double team him. You got uh, Trayvon Hunter. Yeah, four down territory for sure here, obviously. So Ethan Tarkowski as well. Let's see if Morris calls John up. Oh, Romack he's going to keep, keep it. it. Keep Goes it. up the middle oh. and uh, brought down by Weston Wenzel. Once again, Wenzel with the tackle. 59, Reed Robiza was in there also. Yeah. Wenzel uh, with the majority of the tackle there. It's short gain on the play there. So that, ta that uh, quarterback keeper is definitely the uh, bread and butter of this offense. Just two yards, and it'll set up a fourth down and about five. If you're LP, you cannot jump off sides here. Make them earn this. Uh, they're going to go for it, Morris is, fourth and five. Romack rolling right. He's got time. He's going to throw and caught. Oh, I don't well, yeah. yeah. No, oh, I was going to say, say dropped it. I yeah. think the uh, receiver was bobbling that as he yeah. walked, dropped out of bounds. So Parker very, Skubik. Yeah, very close play there, but uh, – I, I think it was right in front of us, so it was, he was a bobble. So good call by the official. And the Redskin receiver, no argument. He got up and uh, said he initially hauled it in, but as Mike pointed out, he was uh, didn't have complete control. And when he went down, it hit the turf to fall incomplete. So big stop for LP because, uh, yeah. boy, if they give up another score there, you're looking at a three-possession uh, three deficit. Yeah, that would have been uh, pretty rough. And still seven minutes left in the second quarter. So Cavs have it first down at their own 21. So we'll see what the Cavs offense can do. First and 10 LP at the 21 yard line. Pretty soon the, the sun's going to set behind these trees and then we'll have a much better view. <laughs> Sun glistening off those green helmets of LP. And my bald head. So yes. Well, at, congratulations, by you, the way, yes, for doing absolutely. them. That's St. Baldrick's. Hartman going to run oh, the option. Oh, a lot of room over here. Oh, nice play by the defender. Yeah. Nice play. Tyler kept it, and uh, closing in on him was uh, Cameron Hatcher, as Mike mentioned, because uh, Hartman was uh, close to turning the corner. But, yeah, he uh, still gave, what, four yards on the yeah. play, so positive yards there for the Cavs. Second down and six coming up for LP, coming up to about halfway through this second quarter. LP will get the ball to start the second half. Yeah, they get a nice drive here, maybe score. It'd be kind mm -hmm. of a nice way to go into halftime. Get momentum back on yeah. their side if they can. Hartman under center in motion. Hartman's going to run the option. Tyler going to turn it up, and oh, he's, he's got, got a nice yeah, running room. First down for Hartman all the way, what, to the 32. Yep. Seven yards. Corey Walker went in motion. Uh, played his first game last week. And uh, he was in there, but did not get the ball that time. Yeah, he had a couple of nice plays last week. Mm -hmm. First and 10 LP at their own 32-yard line. Each team has uh, their whole... Oh, Robin, I was going to say, each nope. team has all their timeouts. Yep. Morris <laughs> does not anymore. No, Morris uh, took a timeout. We'll take one as well. It is 13-0 uh, Morris over LP. Timeout Redskins Cavaliers have the ball when we return on 103.9 WLPO. Fill your day with one of Subway's new protein bowls. 
It's your go-to footlongs, but in a bowl. Build any of your favorite footlongs into a bowl with the same protein of meat, fresh veggies, cheese, and sauce, just without the bread. Try chicken bacon ranch, meatball marinara, or steak and cheese. Add your favorite fresh veggies to the mix, and it all adds up into a packed protein bowl. Double up on the protein for only $2 more. Get it all at your local Subway in Spring Valley, Peru, LaSalle, Ogilvy, Ottawa, or Marseille. Switching is easy. We do it all the time. We switch on the lights. We switch TV channels. Some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, State Farm agent Jessica Strauch right here in Peru can switch you over so you can start saving today. Jessica and her team are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Jessica Strauch, it's easy to switch and save. This is Jessica Strauch. Give me a call. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Tickets to the game and wherever you go, download the free 103.9 WLPO app today. When you open up your credit card bill, is it more like a romance or a scary movie? Change up the way you see your bill each month with Visa cards from Illinois Valley Credit Union. Get the Visa Classic card or the Visa Platinum card with rates starting as low as 9.9% APR with annual fees and a 25-day grace period. Enjoy the worldwide acceptance and convenience of Visa with the hometown service of Illinois Valley Credit Union. Get started today at IVCU.com. Illinois Valley Credit Union with locations in Peru and Princeton. Member UA. This is where you go when you need to know. 103.9 WLPO. Starved Rock News Talk and Classic Rock. Jeremy Egan, Mike Porter back after the timeout by Morris. A handoff, nothing there for uh, Matt Carrico. Pretty much back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe a half yard gain. Maybe a yard. Yeah, give him a yard. Why not? Second and nine for the Cavaliers. LP with three timeouts, so really no need to hurry. See if they maybe go back to the air. Well, Tyler going to run the option, and Tyler's got room. He lunges forward to about the 36, maybe the 37. Yeah, same kind of offense with uh, Romack on Morris. The quarterback's mm -hmm. just finding a spot and uh, taking it up upfield. So nice gain by Tyler, probably about four or five yards. Yeah, I'll mark it at the 37, third and five. Coming up for the Cavaliers. 13-0 Morris, five minutes and counting here in the second quarter. Big play by the Cavs because they're going to have to punt if they don't get a first yeah. down here. Tyler comes up out from under center. And they're going to run the oh. option again. Tyler, almost a face mask. And, but there's no call. Tyler got maybe a yard or two. So Cavaliers probably going to have to punt it. His helmet went back a little bit, yeah. but uh, no no flag thrown. And the LP coaching staff not really barking for a penalty. Nope. So LP will have to punt it back to Morris. And uh, the Redskins have plenty of time. Back deep for Morris is Aiden Romack. Let's see a good snap to Drake so he can get a nice punt off instead of having to run around. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this oh. one is on the ground again, but Drake is able to take it. That's a shortstop uh, move right there, although he's a catcher. Takes a big LP bounce, oh. but uh, the returnee is going to have it at 16. Oh, man, they got to tackle Break, him. Breaks two, three, four tackles, and Hernandez oh. finally breaks him down, Oswaldo. Yeah, they, you want to get him down as soon as possible. <laughs> Hernandez brings him down at about the 23-yard line of Morris. Reminds me of some games against uh, Sycamore and their yeah. uh, returner back in the day. Yeah, we're in. you cringed. Even when you tried to kick it away from him, he'd still somehow end up with yep. the football. Yeah, it was a nice punt by Drake, yeah, and it took nice. an LP bounce. Yep, but Turner just picked it up off the skip, off this turf, and uh, was off to the races. But Hernandez uh, made a good play on the uh, kickoff uh, punt return coverage. 13 nothing Morris. 3.45 to go in this first half. All right, big uh, big oh. series by the defense. Got three, uh, got trips over here on yep. the right hand side. All to the right of Romack. All three receivers for Morris. And what the play clock's oh, down no, to zero. zero. It's still at zero. Yeah, it's, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. Jeez. Oh. 
I was going to see how long it could stay at zero. <laughs> yeah, the back judge uh, threw the flag. He finally saw it. Second flag of the evening against Morris. They had a hold early on. LP had one as well. They're going to stay with the trips. Three receivers to the right. You know, he's got to watch for a wide receiver screen on this kind of a play. And instead, oh, and they run to the, the other side. Way. Good play by the yeah. defensive line there. I think that was that Wenzel uh, again? Weston Wenzel with a yeah. big play. He took down Romack. Two-yard gain on the play. Yeah, Morris spreads it out. And uh, as Mike's alluding to, it puts a lot of pressure on the linebackers and the defensive line because the safeties and quarterbacks are pretty much spread thin, and they're not able to to be near the line of scrimmage. As yeah, far as soon as, as the it, quarterback gets back past the line of yeah. scrimmage, it puts a lot of pressure. Oh, nice, oh big another hit. play. Yeah, they run with Landers this time. They're running back. Yeah, and many, uh, uh, runs with that uh, player so far. Weber and Drew Lane combine on that hit for the Cavaliers. So Morris going backwards here on this drive. Third and 12 now. Under three minutes to go in this first half. Be nice to get a stop here and force uh, Morris to punt. Uh, LP would likely have good field position. Landers to Four the left. Four receivers here on this play. Yeah, three to the left, one to the right of Romack. Now they'll empty out the Five backfield. Five receivers. He's, gonna, he's wide open. Romack with a uh, pump fake throws towards the sideline. It's caught. First down. A big catch out of the backfield for uh, Nathan Jepson. Hmm. He did the pump fake and a th catch. Jepson made it. And uh, Morris will move the chains all the way out to the uh, their own 49-yard line. Yeah, 28-yard completion. I mean, the, Morris had five receivers going out there, so put a lot of pressure on the defense. Four receivers again. They go to Landers up the middle, and he's across midfield inside the LP 45-yard line. And they're going to get Morris with a personal foul. Yeah, he kept pushing the LP uh, defender. Yep. Really silly penalty on the Redskins. Yeah, there was really no need for that. I mean, they had gained, what, eight, eight yards on that play? Yeah. So, and uh, he will come out of the game, the Redskin player that got that yep. penalty. Yep, not so, smart, not smart. They had a huge play, and then all of a sudden, you're going to be marked off 15 yards for the uh, personal foul. There was two players just after the play, uh, and then the Morris player just kept pushing the Cavalier defender, and the official said they had enough and threw the flag. Yeah, Tarkowski was the victim on that yeah. one, so uh, it was the right call, and the fans down here were uh, definitely All over uh, watching that, so <laughs> that's what we need. Yeah, the Cavalier faithful, uh, they were not going to let that one get uh, get by them. That moves yeah, Morris back. To 20 now, it looks like. Yeah, all the way back to the Redskin 41-yard line. 2.14 to go. 13 nothing is the score. Romack, quarterback keeper. Spins ahead and going to be knocked down. Weston Wenzel, also near the play, was uh, Reed Robisa. Yep, and Luke Murtis, I believe, yep. I saw in the backfield. So, so second and long. I say that uh, second that down, marker right? is yep. yeah, the bar marker's not right there. Yeah, it's second and long. Second and fourteen for Morris. Minute forty-five and counting. Three receivers to the right of Romack, one to his left. Morris has looked a lot more dangerous passing than running the ball here. Yeah, Over the have. middle, it oh, is. Oh, nice play. Yeah, great play by Narcus. Well, that was a huge play. He knocked it right off of the receiver's hands. Uh, that would have been a touchdown. If he did not make that was play, it Johnson so. again that uh, yep. was streaking over the middle of the yeah, field. Miles Johnson, yeah, he's a speedster over there, and I think uh, from, from what I understand, Narcus is the fastest Cavs player. So <laughs> uh, hopefully he can run with him uh, continually here. So nice Narcus, play. yeah, with a highlight reel yep. pass defense Defensive there, play of the game potentially right there. And timeout, LP. So the Cavs will take their first timeout. Just can ill afford to give up another third and long. Yep. Third and 14 coming up. Two timeouts remaining for both teams. A minute 30. I think the uh, the officials are talking about was it third or fourth down. Yeah, but, I mean, it should be third down. But yeah. the, uh, the little marker here says fourth. So the chain gang. The chain gang doesn't have it right. Well, no, the scoreboard has now went to fourth down. Oh. So maybe uh, maybe they, the chain gang were right all along. Hmm. We'll okay. take it. Well. 
Yeah, absolutely. Fine with because us. Uh, you know we definitely don't need Morris to score on this drive here. Thirteen nothing. Morris with two long touchdown passes. And uh, the Cavaliers probably at this point wouldn't be all that upset to go down to the locker room to score. You, you don't want Morris to get a no. late score here. It'd no. be a real no. uh, backbreaker. No. no, 13 nothing is definitely manageable. Again, the Cavaliers won the coin toss and uh, deferred. So they will get the ball to start the second half. We'll have some uh, halftime coverage. St. Margaret's Health halftime show coming up. During the halftime show, we'll have another Subway scoreboard update and also our Gurgovich Family Chiropractic second half adjustment. 13-0 Morris over LP. And it is fourth down, so the Redskins would likely be punting here. LP may not be even be sending anybody back. Romack. We'll get the punt away. Nope, that's good. And Whitfield's just going to let it bounce. Let it go out of bounds, so no yeah. harm, no foul there. You're just inside the uh, LP 30-yard line. So we'll see if LP maybe tries to open it up here. 126 to go. They have to go 72 yards. <laughs> I'm going to think they're going to play a little conservative yeah. here, I would guess. Um their passing game has not been really strong so far in this game. So we'll see. what We'll see. Maybe they get a good play on first down, and that'll uh, dictate what coach does. Hartman uh, will bring the uh, play out. Drake Weber will uh, head to the bench. Drake was shaken up in the first quarter. Been back out there, though. Kurtz is the lone receiver. Yeah, this seems to be the standard uh, Cavs uh, formation here. And Tyler's going to run the option. Oh. He's got some running room. A late pitch. And there's Levi Reed. They're going to be a block in the back. Oh, oh, yep. no. oh there it is. Yep, yep, yep. There's a block in the back. Big run, and that's going to get the Cavalier fans upset. But, Mike, that was a pretty obvious thing, block in the back on LP. Yeah, I thought they were going to call it over here near the sideline, but yeah. they didn't. They called one more in the field. So I thought I saw one earlier, but. That was Levi oh, Reed with a hold. rare carry. Yep. Yeah, that's uh that's the first time I've seen him carry the ball, but it was an it was a kind of a reverse option. Yeah. He held <laughs> Tyler ran uh, held onto the ball a long time. Yeah. So uh, that don't negate that big gain. Now they will gain a few yards because it's a spot of the foul penalty. Right. So ten yards from mm. the spot at the forty one. So they're at the thirty one, so yeah. really they gained four yards on the play. Did take some time off the clock, though. We're down to a minute 18 in this first half. First down and about, oh, what, seven then? Yep, looks After like that it. penalty. Carrico behind Hartman. Weber is out there for the Cavs. Along with uh, Corey Walker. Hartman's going to pass. He's got time. He's going to throw over the middle and just out of the reach of Reese Kurtz. Reese dove for it, could not come out with it. And uh, Reese slow getting up right around midfield. Dove down to the turf. Looks like he's okay. So incomplete. And it'll be second and seven now. Clock stop at 113. Hartman potentially had some running room there. Yeah, yeah, but, uh, you know, Kurtz uh, was open yeah. there. It was a nice play, and uh, Tyler gave himself some time and uh, just a little bit low for uh, Reese. But, uh, hey, that was a good play. Get out. Of, get, no harm, no foul. No, no harm, no foul. Sorry. Whew. Second down and seven for the Cavaliers. A minute 13 to go in the first half. Up the middle is Carrico. Matt's got a first down, yeah, and he nice was hammered. Rock. And he was hit hard by uh, yes, Zach Romack, was. the other quarterback. But uh, Carrico with a big gain. First down Cavaliers out to their own 41-yard line. And LP is going to speed things up a bit here because we're down to a minute to play in the second quarter. Yep, and clock's moving now. Cavalier faithful getting impatient, trying to get their offense moving quicker. And Hartman going to run the option again. Pitch to oh. A lot of running room for Drake. 45-50 turns it inside at the Morris 45. Out of bounds. The clock will stop. They're all the way out to the, looks like the 40 of Morris. Yeah, big game. Drake 19, Weber. 19 yards for Weber. And the pitch by Hartman to Weber. They ran the option to perfection there. And, again, the clock stops as he was tackled out of bounds. 
45 seconds to go. First and 10 LP at the Morris 44 yard line. LP trying to get a score here and get some big momentum going into the locker room. Reese Kurtz, the lone receiver to the left of Hartman. And Tyler going to run the option nope. again. Nothing there. Not he ran up the there. middle. Nope. LP's got to call a timeout, only about a yard or two on that game. So five seconds went off the clock. Cavaliers only gained and maybe not even a yard close to yeah, it. Yeah, very little. Again, Drake Weber is a heck of a kicker. So if the Cavaliers can get in field goal range. The end of one. Here's a bit of a surprise. Not a bit, I guess. I would say a big surprise. It's early. But to Ottawa leading Caneland 7-6. to six. No. Yeah, yeah that's early. And Ottawa's been in most of their games early. And then they just kind of ran out of gas. But um, Yeah, they don't have the depth uh, once these games start getting going. Second down and nine coming up for LP after this timeout. The Cavaliers just have one timeout remaining. And uh, Nolan Hamilton and Reese Kurtz. See if they're out there. They're two of the nope. Looks like they're coming out. Receivers, but yeah. Drew Lane is coming out also. So all right, gonna have a different set of receivers going out there. I don't know how many players. It doesn't look like LP's got eleven kids out there. I don't think they did. They just uh, time out. Off. Yeah, yeah, the time out. They got to know. Uh, Levi Reed laid on at the field. Drake Weber going to be uh, a white out here. out here. So second down and nine for LP. Better hurry up. Yeah, LP's Go. still uh, having trouble here. Hartman, they're going to need to get it off, and he does. Tyler throwing to Weber, one-on-one -on -one coverage. Drake makes it. Oh, thanks, Tyler. Touchdown. Touchdown, LP. They pretty wow. much just threw it up to Drake Weber, and he got away from the Morris defender. 43 yards. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It says it coming back. Uh, there, there's, I don't even see a flag on the play. But. I don't either, but, yeah, it's going to go against LP. The officials were back. And, yeah, I don't, I didn't see the flags, but I saw two officials talking. And this time the LP coaches are pretty far onto the field. Not sure what we're calling here against the Cavaliers. Hartman just threw it up, and Drake, uh, oh, we got a false oh, start. Huh? Wow, that's a late call and a false start. Hey, you just told them at the start. Bullshit call. Well, you might have heard the uh, opinion from the Cavaliers. Yeah, I didn't even see a flag. Now, granted, we were watching the the the, the Weber, uh, Drake Weber. Wow. Yeah, they must have, I mean, picked up that flag immediately. I mean, because I didn't see it anywhere on the field. And that, of course... Fires up the Morris sideline and their fans, so um, it's unfortunate for the Cavs. I don't, I don't know how they call that one. It definitely wasn't an obvious. Uh, there wasn't an obvious player in motion early or anything, so we must have missed it. Yep, don't know. So let's see if the Cavaliers can put that one behind them here. Weber again, a receiver. Now Morris is going to double team Drake. Yeah, they got a couple guys. Hartman out here. back, and he's in trouble. Tyler going to be brought down near the 50. And LP will take their final timeout. 26 seconds to go. So the Cavaliers, a tough break there. And. That was tough to get back. Uh, they had Weber, who just pretty much just outfought his uh, receiver or his uh, yeah the defender, defender out there. Yeah, he but, was one on one, and uh, you know, great throw by Hartman, and uh, yeah, that's that's going to be one to check the film on there for the coaches to see where that movement was. And yeah, like you said, uh, I don't know if it came in late, but again, we were watching the play, and a lot of people were. Well, I mean, false starts got to be near the beginning of right. the play too, so it's the play. It's not have... like a hold that would come in late or right. a block in the back or clipping or something or another. So it's it's hard to say.
But I'm sure the coaches, like I said, they'll they'll check the film and see what happened. And so the Cavaliers have one more shot at this. Well, it's third down, so they got and that really got the Morris fans energized. Yeah, too. that that really did that. So third and long for the Cavaliers. Straight drop back for Hartman. Tyler throws. Caught by Trayvon. Oh, no, he it. Trayvon was trying to run, I think, before he had the ball. Yeah, I think he looked up uh, before he, caught, like I said, caught the ball. And, uh, he had some open area there. He probably wouldn't have got a first down, but he would have been able to get quite a bit of yards and go out of bounds. But so I think if you're LP, I think you punt this and just you go into the halftime breakdown 13 here. Try to pin Morris down. I, I just don't. Yeah, I don't think you go. For no, it. you can't. It's only thirteen. Not nothing. With, not with the offense that they have. Just you just want to have good punt coverage and uh, make sure that uh, Romack doesn't get any free uh, space. Oh well, that. Uh, Here's the punt by Weber. Nice snap. Oh, nice kick by Drake. He's kicking and, it away from him. Yep. And that'll take some more time off the clock. Oh, let it. Yeah, why are you blowing the whistle so soon? <laughs> yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It doesn't stop until the ball gets touched. Wow. Okay. So they blew the whistle before LP even downed it. And it didn't go out of bounds. So I'm not really sure. So I guess at this point, would would love just to get to halftime and regroup if you're LP. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, that 43-yard pass uh, gets taken out of the stat book here, unfortunately. So you, LP just got to keep everybody in front of him here. And Romack going to hand it off to Landers. Might be the last play of the half. And Wenzel in the area again. And that will be just a wild ending of the half. Unfortunately, the Cavaliers go in trailing 13 to nothing. We'll be back with some second half numbers and discussion of a lively first half here. Morris still leading LP 13 nothing. You're listening to Cavalier Football on 103.9 WLPO. When it comes to orthopedic care and sports medicine, you're in great hands at St. Margaret's Health. Get back to living a full, active lifestyle or take care of that nagging sports injury. Orthopedic surgeons Dr. Corona, Mitchell, Shin, and Kapsik are redefining excellence with an unprecedented program for joint replacement in the area's most advanced technology and techniques. Drive of the game. While a great drive is important in football, Bill Walsh knows what you drive is crucial to your home team, from work and school. It's a big game. You need a dependable ride that will get you and your team where they need to be safely on time in comfort and style find your perfect drive right now at billwalsh.com and keep listening for tonight drive of the game it's brought to you by bill walsh automotive and billwalsh.com where you can find your next drive without doing any driving at all Spring time is the perfect time to fix up your home do you need new windows or have you been dreaming about a porch or a new outdoor space or maybe it's finally time for an addition to your home. Or is this the year you buy that new home? Hi, this is Tara Stefanich with First State Bank. We're ready to help you with a loan design to fit your needs. And if you're ready to refinance or need a new mortgage loan, First State Bank is the bank for you. Visit me at First State Bank in Ottawa today. First State Bank, an equal housing lender, member FDIC. Down, sit, hut. Ah, my back. Whether you're getting down in a three-point stance, getting down off a ladder, or getting down on the dance floor, you need a chiropractor on your health care team. Dr. Mike Gurkovich at Gurkovich Family Chiropractic in LaSalle utilizes the most advanced technology to provide care for men, women, and children of all ages. Go to drgurkovich.com and see all the ways having a chiropractor on your team can help you on your way to a healthy lifestyle. That's drgurkovich.com. Clear pricing, great service, and the best warranty in the business. We started Window World of Joliet over 10 years ago to change the home improvement experience. We give you honest, straightforward answers and no pressure sales process and amazing financing options. Since 2010, we've installed over 40,000 windows in your neighborhood. 
Want yours to be next? Call 815-729-3100 to get your project started. Call 815-729-3100 today or visit WinterWorldJoliet.com to request an estimate. WinterWorld, simply the best for less. It's spring, and Cortiva AgriScience wants to thank you for all you do to area farmers as you prepare for spring planting. Planting is a time when many farm accidents happen. Please make sure to include safety in your preparation plans. Your ad partners at Cortiva AgriScience remind you to slow down, take all safety precautions, and have a safe spring season. Cortiva AgriScience is dedicated to helping you protect your yield, your land, and in the world's food supply, because they know when farmers succeed, everyone wins. To learn more, visit them online at Cortiva.com today. The Illinois Valley and Star Rock Country wake up with Rod and Tom. Mornings on 103.9 WLPO, Star Rock News Talk and Classic Rock. Jeremy Aiken and Mike Porter back here. You're listening to LP Cavalier Football on 103.9 FM, 1220 AM WLPO. It is Morris with a lead over LP at the half, 13 to nothing. Uh, the scoring summary in this first half, uh, both Morris touchdowns at 10-21 of the first. Morris took the opening possession and marched right down the field. It was, they were aided by a big uh, kick return, and uh, it ended with a 35-yard touchdown pass. Zach Romack to Miles Johnston. The kick was good. That was all after one quarter, 7 nothing Morris. And then uh, Romack and Johnston hooked up again in the second quarter, a 31-yard touchdown pass. Morris went for two in a pass play, and it was uh, no good, incomplete. And uh, that score came at 10-23. Cavaliers had a touchdown brought back by a penalty at a big pass completion. Hartman to Weber, but it was brought back. Uh, A penalty called back on the line of scrimmage, and uh, the Cavaliers just couldn't punch it in before the end of the half. No turnovers, uh, neither team turning the ball over. LP did have a costly uh, exchange between uh, the quarterback and center that on a third and short that uh, led to a turnover on downs. But, again, no official turnovers in that first half. And, uh, Mike, uh, looking at the numbers, obviously some big pass plays from Morris. Uh, Otto, or LP's had a few runs here and there, but just kind of chunk of yardage right. right around midfield. They really haven't. Uh, in fact, LP has yet to get in the red zone so far tonight. Yeah, they were close, obviously, but the uh, the Morris offense has done a pretty good job, and it's really been just the two players. Honestly, it's been the quarterback and that wide receiver. So that Miles Johnston is going to have to be stopped here in the second uh, half. But as far as uh, Cavs stats here, uh, basically all on the ground. Um, of course, they did have that pass play that was called back, so that was really the only completion that the Cavs had. Um, Tyler Hartman led the Cavs with rushing with 41 yards. Um, Carrico had uh, pushed in with 35. Drake Weber had that nice 14-yard run, and Tra- or, uh, Hunter also had uh, chipped in with seven yards. So as far as the stats go, like you said, there were no turnovers, uh, a few penalties here and there. The Cavs had a couple, um, you know, costly ones here and there, but nothing major. Um, on the defensive side, I think the star so far has been Wenzel. He's yeah. been all over the field um, and made a lot of nice plays off of the defensive line. So uh, obviously they're going to have to keep up with that uh, as we go into the third quarter and move on to the fourth because uh, Morris offense is not going to slow down. No, it's uh, it's definitely not a, kind of a smash mouth offense that Morris has had in the past years. They've uh, spread things out tonight with three receivers and uh, used their athleticism, and uh, that has led uh, to a 13 nothing lead over the LP Cavaliers at halftime. Again, you're listening to St. Margaret's Health Halftime. Stay on top of your game with help from St. Margaret's Health and Dr. Shin. He's the Illinois Valley's only doctor certified in both orthopedics and sports medicine. Let's take a check of the Subway scoreboard. Uh, this Subway uh, scoreboard update brought to you by Subway in Spring Valley, Peru, LaSalle, Marcials, and Oglesby. Enjoy a sandwich made with freshly baked bread and fresh ingredients right in front of your eyes. Subway, eat to fresh. And, uh, Mike, you got some scores? Yeah, it looks like uh, with three minutes left in the half, I'm guessing, Hall is leading Bureau Valley. Uh, 26 to 7. Actually, that's a final now. 26 to 7 Hall over Bureau Valley. Um, Kaylin is leading Ottawa 28 to 6. Uh, it says 7.50 left, so I'm assuming that could that be in the game by chance? Yeah, I think in the uh, first, first half. First half, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, Lyle is leading Streeter 14 to 7 with uh, about two minutes left in the second uh, quarter also. Uh, so, you know, some some fi- some close games and, um, you know, obviously Hall picking up that win for their final game of the season. It's got to be big for Spring Valley. So uh, good for Hall. And um, that's all the scores I have so far that I've seen. All right. Again, we'll take you to uh, Cardinal Baseball when we're done here. Uh, we'll take you to the Redbirds in action. 
Uh, the Cubs played earlier today. I they were losing. They I know, lost. to the Braves. They, they, they got lost, second yes. place again, huh? Yeah, they lost. Okay, well, the White yeah Cardinals are down big early, six to nothing. No, oh. against the Phillies again. We'll join the Cardinals in progress if uh, there's some of that game still left to be played. Yeah, the Cubs lose five to two. The Sox actually got postponed. Must be some weather out east. Uh, mm. Red Sox, White Sox postponed. Uh, the Royals and Blue Jays in Kansas City postponed, and then the Rockies and Mets postponed. I saw images from Denver. They were having snow, Oh, which is not unusual for no, Denver, and, of course. Uh, you know, you think about Blue Jays on the East Coast, but their uh, home, fee- home home games are in Buffalo, so... Yeah, um, you're right. You're right. Yeah, so yeah. That is out east. Yeah, so. and their normal home is uh, well, it used to be the Sky Dome. Correct. Yeah, so they'd mm-hmm. be, uh, you know, obviously under the under the roof, but yeah. they're playing in Buffalo, so they could all have all sorts of weather there. Yes, they could uh, by the lake there, lake effect snow and so forth. So that's uh, your scoreboard update. We're going to take another break, and when we come back, we'll uh, tell you what we believe is our second half adjustment. And uh, Mike will also go over some of the activities uh, for LP High School. Coming up this weekend, it is 13-0, Morris leading LP. We're at halftime, the St. Margaret's Health Halftime Show on 103.9 WLPO. Hi, folks. Gene Carlson here, pharmacist at Shots Pharmacy in Marseilles. Are you dealing with the adverse effects of chronic high stress? Did you know, slowly and silently, chronic stress can deteriorate your health? Stress decreases our ability to concentrate, weakens our immune system, causes sleep disruptions, and mental and physical burnout. If this sounds like you, I have good news. By identifying and reviewing your primary stressors, Shots Pharmacy can help you. Our program uses several lifestyle modifications and natural solutions to help you regain control and reverse the negative effects of stress. Call Shots Pharmacy, 815-795-2700. Reverse the vicious cycle of stress. Restore a central state of calm and mental clarity. Regain energy and physical health. Call 815 815- 795-2700, Shot Pharmacy. Along the banks of the Illinois River at the north end of town, Peoria Woodruff opened in 1937, replacing Keeneman and before that Averyville, which was annexed into Peoria in 1927. The Warriors had competitive teams in many sports, including boys basketball, which went to the state tournament three times and were second to Centralia. The Pontiac Holiday Tournament in 1941 en route to a 23-5 season. Baseball finished second at the 1947 state tournament and won four district titles, while boys cross-country won state in 1952 and were in the top 10 at state eight times in 10 years. There were other successful sports at Woodruff as well, but why not find out more online on the website Illinois High School Glory Days? I'm site author Kev Marney, and we've got plenty of information on Peoria Woodruff and close to 1,200 other schools in Illinois that have since closed their doors. Back, figures, history, and so much more. Come check us out today at IllinoisHighSchoolGloryDays.com and 1039 WLPO. Still hearing the school bells, even though the schools are gone. Listen wherever you go. FM 1039, AM 1220. Streaming at Classic Hits 1039WLPO.com. And with a free WLPO app for your mobile device. Jeremy Eak and Mike Porter back here at uh, St. Margaret's Health Halftime Show at Morris High School. Redskins leading the Cavaliers 13 to nothing. Time now for our second half adjustment. If everyone needs a chiropractor on their health care team. Go to Gurkovich.com to see all the ways having a chiropractor on your team can help you on your way to a healthy lifestyle. Obviously, Mike, I mean, uh, one would say the offense obviously has to get on the board, uh, being shut out here against Morris. So the defense has settled in, I think, since that early strike by Morris. Yeah, they gave up another touchdown, but it would seem the defense has settled in a bit. Right. And now it's time for the offense to step up. Yeah, they're going to have to do something. I mean, they've had some successful running plays here and there, and they've tried some passes, but they just haven't given Tyler enough time to actually get back and throw the ball. So I think the offensive line has to step up a little bit this uh, half. I mean, they've done all right with the running game, but the passing Mm -hmm. game has just been, you know, Tyler running around and making plays on his own. So uh, I think that would be an adjustment that the offense has to make. All right, that is our second half adjustment as the Cavaliers try to rally against the Morris Redskins. And as we like to do... We like to uh, take a look at what's going on at LP High School. Again, homecoming is next week. But, uh, Mike, what do we got for uh, LP activities this weekend? Yeah, there's actually some activities going on this weekend, which is nice uh, for the Cavs. Uh, The varsity volleyball team is actually going to Pekin for a quad. So they're they're going to play three different matches there. Varsity soccer is playing the uh, Ottawa Pirates in the fifth place game of the conference tournament at Rochelle. So uh, varsity soccer has been playing well lately. 
Uh, freshman volleyball has got a triangular in the Sellet Gymnasium. Um, and baseball, softball, girls soccer, and track all start events next week. So it's going to be a busy week with uh, Cavs activity. And I know uh, the athletic director, Dan Lee, has been running around <laughs> like crazy yeah. uh, trying to get all these things scheduled because you just can't. You know, there's cancellations, there's moving, there's different, you know, locations and whatnot. So uh, Dan Lee has been uh, definitely working hard this uh, this whole season, actually, this whole year, with trying to get activities scheduled for all the Cavaliers athletes. So uh, exciting times here. So let's see what the Cavs can do this weekend. Uh, looking forward to see what the volleyball, team, volleyball yeah, does. Right. And you mentioned, uh, you know, volleyball, football, the esports will be wrapping up. Yep. And then we'll get... As we talked about track and field, baseball and softball will be uh, busy as they kind of cram in a uh, regular season. But, again, they will have a uh, postseason as well. So that will be something to look forward to. 13 yep. nothing Morris with the lead over the LP Cavaliers as the Cavaliers and Redskins both uh, simultaneously come back yep. on the field after the halftime break. And, uh, again, we'll be back home next Friday night. The Cavaliers taking on Caneland. And uh, Caneland, as Mike alluded to, now ahead of Ottawa. Ottawa had an early lead. They may have spoke. Hall is actually playing Rock Ridge tonight. Yep, and uh, that one. <laughs> the Rockets, we wish we could have gave the good news about Hall winning, but the Red Devils are trailing early to a Rock Ridge 14 nothing, and that game is over on our sister station, 99-3 uh, WAJK. As, okay. uh, that'll be the last game for the Red Devils this season as yep. uh, they'll turn their attention to uh, baseball, and uh, they look to have another powerhouse baseball team this year with uh, the whole Red Devils, and we're yeah. thinking uh, LP should be pretty fun to see on the ball diamond as well. And then we're only a little over a month away from uh, the Pistol Shrimp. Oh. <laughs> starting their season, uh, the Illinois Valley Pistol Shrimp over at Veterans Park in Peru. So we have a lot of baseball. Well, you know, the Valley's a pretty baseball crazy yep. area. Baseball's pretty big in our area, and well, it's great I to mean, have that. Yeah, like you said, Hall just started their season, uh, what, yesterday they won their yep. first game. And, uh, of course, the Pistol, Stri- Pistol Shrimp will be starting. Uh, you know, Illinois Valley's always had that Central States tournament, yep. too. So I don't yep. know if they're going to have that this year. Of course, last right. year they didn't. So, you know, if Central States comes back here in the late July, early August, you know, that's always a, an exciting time for, uh, you know, baseball fans uh, in Oglesby and Peru. So while the major league teams may be in for a long summer, hopefully we'll have the, the, the yeah. local teams. I think the north side's going to. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I, I think, think so. They're... I know it's early, but there are some troubling signs there. Uh, we're a couple minutes away from kickoff. We'll take another break, and uh, we'll be ready for the second half kickoff momentarily. Morris leading the Cavaliers 13 nothing. LP, though, will get the ball to start this second half. Uh, they're right in this one against the Redskins. You're listening to Cavalier Football on 103.9 FM, 1220 AM, WLPO. Back right after this. Mortgage rates are still near an all-time low, making it the perfect time to buy a home or refinance your current loan. Hi, this is Missy Clancy from Hometown National Bank. By refinancing your current mortgage, you can reduce your payment and use the extra money for the things you love. Vacation, swimming pool, new car, or remodeling Tammy's kitchen. Wait, Tammy, did you put that in there? I did. Oh, boy. Visit myhtnb.com to apply. Hometown National Bank is celebrating 140 years of making dreams come true. Your bank for life. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender, MLS number 759336. These are a couple of great teams but the real super groups like acdc Def leopard and journey play after the game 1039 wlpo starved rock news talk and classic rock yeah i urge you uh, to stay tuned again after our game we'll go to uh, cardinal baseball and then we'll have uh, great tunes throughout the night and i'll be in hosting in the morning with john small and uh, rod will be back in monday morning and uh, hopefully have uh it should be a pretty nice weekend um, it's kind of a boring weather pattern lately with, what, 50s and 30s at night. Yeah, a, yep. What, that S word is sneaking back in oh, our forecast, I think? say that on uh, Tuesday know, night, I guess. I uh, bring in your flowers if you're uh, <laughs> 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 Yeah. Frost warning. Yeah, there could be a frost warning. So uh, it's really the first game so far this season, the wind has not been a factor. Yeah, it's, it's honestly been very... <laughs> Mike gets had uh, delivered a hot dog. How about that? I don't know where that came from. So yeah. one of the LP coaches uh, dropped Very nice. off something. So thank Very you for nice. that. <laughs> but yeah, we definitely don't want to be seeing uh, frost and snow anymore. I think we've had our fill. Uh, you know, everyone's cutting their grass now, and uh, it's time to move on to spring. 
Every is it official? It's officially spring now, right? March twentieth, absolutely. That was that's what I uh, thought. Yeah, yeah March twentieth, first day of spring, the spring equinox. All right, we are about set for football here as uh, Morris is on the sideline, and LP will soon be heading there. Again, the Cavaliers will get the ball to start this second half. Cavaliers and Redskins from Morris High School, week five of this uh, spring football season. Cavaliers 3-0, and Morris 3-1. and We knew this would be a uh, yeah, battle. absolutely. And, uh, Morris is proving to be tough, as they always are. Yeah, just one uh, one little move, I guess, and it would have been uh, thirteen to six or thirteen to seven here. So, uh, you know, just how close and uh, close this game uh, really can be. So, it looks like uh, Morris is getting ready to kick off here. And Redskins will uh, kick to the Cavaliers. Weber will be back, and Trayvon Hunter as well. Yeah, they've been kind of kicking the tray on the, the three kicks that Morris has had, or actually two kicks that Morris has had, they've kicked towards Hunter. So they must have uh, trying to keep the ball away from Weber. So here we go. Second half uh, getting ready to be underway. According to Morris, uh, they have 125 yards in the air, 65 on the ground, LP 95 through the air, and none. Or 95 on the ground. Okay, I, I was going to say, wait, yeah, did not, I miss something? LP's winning the uh, time of possession, but uh, they're losing the scoreboard. Short kick to Drake Weber. Drake will take it at about the 18 and uh, going to run into about three or four Redskin yeah, he's defenders. Have some problems there. And uh, forward progress should have it at about the 22 yard line. So LP with their first possession of this second half. Sun is set and lights will take full effect now. First and 10 from their own 23-yard line. First and 10 from the Cavalier 23-yard line. LP in their road whites with the green numbers and red trim. Those green helmets. We're thinking gray pants. Did we yeah, come up with the color of the gray pants? Yeah, yeah. gray. Yeah. Tyler Hartman, the senior quarterback, under center. Yeah. Thought there was going to be a jump there. Oh, Tyler! Oh, oh he, he was just, tripped up. Oh, yep. Somebody hit his shoelace, unfortunately. So maybe a loss. Or uh, yeah. Uh, well, well, he lunged forward. Maybe got yeah, back to the line, of, line of, scrimmage. of scrimmage. So no gain on that for Hartman. Yeah, it was a definition of a shoestring yeah. tackle. Yeah. L literally. Second down and ten. Hartman back under center for the Cavs. Reese Kurt split out wide left. And they go. Carico, Matt's got a plenty of running room. Nice run up the Yeah, middle. out to about the 33, maybe the 34-yard line. He was one Morris defender away from heading down the middle of the field for uh, even more yardage. And now LP is going to go with a no-huddle offense. That's something we've not seen. Nope. Cavalier is speeding things up here. First and 10, the big gain by Carrico. And Hartman going to keep it. Tyler got to hold on to the ball. There's a late pitch to oh. Trayvon, and he gets it out to about the 40-yard line. So a very late pitch by Hartman, but uh, Trayvon gets about six yards on that carry. And that's one of those where Tyler took one yeah. for the team. I mean, he got a hammer. Yeah, he was wrapped up, and he was just looking to get rid of the ball. And uh, fortunately, Hart, uh, Trayvon was ready for it. So nice, uh, nice play by Trayvon. So six-yard gain. Cavaliers with a little hop in their uh, step here with a no huddle. Now they go back to the uh, traditional offense of getting in the huddle, taking their time. A couple minutes into the second half, Cavaliers trying to march down to get their first score of the evening. Oh, oh Morris, be yep, yep, infraction as Hartman did the hard count. And that'll be uh, first down for the Cavaliers. It was second down in about four, and uh, that'll move the ball up to the 45 of LP. First down, Cavaliers. That pumps up the crowd here for sure. Yeah, this is the most I've heard. Uh, yeah, either side, both uh, sides of the crowd have really been into this one tonight. And of course, two of the three LP games have been, you know, they were in control pretty much throughout. Mm -hmm. Right. First and 10, Cavaliers. 
Hartman is under center once again in motion. Uh, Hartman's going to throw, and he's looking, and just over the uh, outreach of Reese Kurtz, he threw it towards the Morris sideline and uh, overthrew Kurtz, the intended receiver. And it'll be second down and yeah, 10. Yeah, he didn't have a shot on that one. It was a little high for Reese. So, uh, you know, that's they got to keep him honest there with the pass. Yep. Second and 10, Cavaliers. Clock stopped at 946 here in the third quarter. And, yeah, as soon as that sun went down. Yeah, it's oof, definitely a little I'm chilling gonna, I'm here. I'm going to grab the <laughs> sweatshirt that I took off earlier when I, <laughs> yeah. was, when I was tanning what a my difference. arms. What a difference that makes. So Not no, that it's no, it's still a great I, night. Yeah, we're football. definitely not going to complain no. uh, about that at all. But we're both in the short sleeves, and the, uh, the door behind us got open and felt a little chill. There's Caraco again. Caraco's wide open. Look at that. Nice run all the way up to the 40 of Morris, maybe the 39. Yeah, so, that was a gain of about 16. Yep, I got 16 yards for Caraco on that play. LP's got something going there with Caraco. His last two carries have been big gains right up the middle for LP. Yeah, two carries and 27 yards. So the Cavaliers first and 10 at the Morris 40. Well, I mean, he's been doing it all year. I mean, like I said earlier, he's been averaging close to 100 yards a game, so he's definitely got the legs to do it. First and 10, Cavs. Three minutes into this second half. Under center is Hartman. Tyler gives it to Carrico again, and Matt's putting his head down, churning those legs and getting inside the Morris 35-yard line. So the Cavaliers with a nice drive to open up this second half. Second down and about five coming up for LP. Yeah, something the uh, coaches must have seen during that first half to, uh, you know, nice drive to start. Like you said, it's been uh, uh, 43 yards so far, and we're going. Second and five, Cavaliers looking for uh, their first score of the night. Hartman going to throw. Tyler throws it behind oh, the receiver. Man, uh, pass interference. Pass interference on that yep. play. The uh, Morris defenders are kind of putting their arms up. but uh, Sean can't. Whitfield was the intended receiver, and the pass was behind Sean, which always puts right. the defender Pressure in a bad yeah, position. Absolutely. So back shoulder pass, yeah. they always say in the pros. Yeah, Aaron Rodgers does that pass to perfection, especially yeah, when the other rec- team has a C on their helmet. recognize that name. <laughs> But over the yeah, the back shoulder, and yep. that'll, that'll be a pass interference. So Cavaliers will have a first down after the penalty on the Redskins. Of course, that's a 10-yard penalty in high school, not the yeah. uh, spot of the foul. Maybe even 15 yards? I don't know. Uh, they're going to be right at the 20. Yard line. So that was a 15-yard penalty there. So for the first time tonight, I'm able to tell you that the Cavaliers are in the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. Illinois Valley Credit Union is the red zone sponsor, uh, now offering Visa cards with interest rates as low as 9.9%. Contact IVCU today for all the details. First and 10 Cavaliers. Hartman with a quarterback. No, nope, hands it off. Carico. Carico all the way down to the uh, 15, 14, no, 11 yard yeah. line. So nine yards for Carico. So Carico is uh, coming out like a house of fire here in the second half for LP and credit the line as well. Yeah, absolutely. The line uh, has come out on fire in the second half. Maybe perhaps they're wearing Morris down a little bit up front. We'll see as this game goes along. Second down and one for the Cavaliers. They're in business at the Redskin 11-yard line as the Cavalier fans get fired up. Hartman under center, just one receiver. And Tyler taking his time here. Yep, they still got a little six seconds left on the play clock. Morris staying at home now. Tyler hands it off. Carrico again. Matt only needed one, and I yep, think he got it. Forward progress. Goal. Yep. Inside the 10. There was a whole host of Redskins uh, defenders there, but. Yeah, he only needed a yard, so yep. uh, mm-hmm. he got it. Oh, there's, a, there's a player shaking up. Yeah, shaking for Morris. Uh, Morris is uh, Tyler Davis, number 12, 5'11", t- defensive end senior. So uh, looks like he got shaken up on the ankle. Take another check of our uh, Subway scoreboard update. Uh, start of the second quarter, Rock Ridge leading Hall 21 to nothing. Again, uh, nearing half, it was Caneland over Ottawa by a score of uh, 22 to 7. And uh, Lyle was ahead of Streeter going towards the half 14 to 7, as we do have an injured Redskin down on the field after that first down run by Caracal. They'll mark it at the Redskin eight yard line. So it'll be first and goal 
for uh, LP as the, the Redskin player gets up. It looks like he's going to be able to walk off on his own power. Yep, I'm just going to go off the sideline, so a uh, good hand by the uh, visiting faithful here, yep. uh, like you should when the uh, injured player gets up. So at least he's able to go off on his own power, and he may you know, maybe, uh, may be able to return. And that's Tyler Davis. I think uh, you have to, usually you have to sit out of play when yes. you're in at least yep. one play. Uh, he's still in the huddle, or is he coming off? Yeah, no, he's there coming he goes. Out, yep. Yep. Yeah, with the Morris training staff. Yep. So first and goal for the Cavaliers. Got to punch it in here. Thirteen, nothing. Got to come away with some points. Obviously, you'd love six. Yep. But uh, this is the best drive of the night for the Cavaliers, and comes in the opening drive of this second half. Thirteen to nothing, Morris. Cavaliers, they're looking to get this to a one possession game. Yeah, this is exactly what the Cavs needed here to come in uh, after halftime. So we'll see if they can punch it in. Looks like I'm guessing that it's going to be Carrico. Uh, up, timeout by uh, LP. Uh, after the injury, too. Yeah, they Man. must have just not seen something that they want, they didn't like. So, Or they were maybe missing in personnel. Yeah, true. Yeah, that's that's in a close game, you need those timeouts, and uh, hopefully that doesn't come back to bite the Cavs. Especially because you uh, you had an injury timeout to right. work on. Things. Yeah, so they, the players came over to the sideline, but uh, they did have a substitution here on the offensive line. Um, number seventy-five, Marwicki, came back into the game. So now Tyler's counting the players, to make sure they had eleven. So maybe they didn't. Maybe they only had <laughs> yeah. ten. Yeah, you don't want a penalty. That's no. for sure. So uh, they do take the timeout to avoid any kind of penalty or uh, something really bad happening. Is Cavaliers got to protect things here at uh, goal to go situation inside the uh, Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone for the first time tonight. Okay, well, the uh, faithful here are uh, urging the Cavs on here. So and Drake Weber is out there for the Cavs. Carrico in the backfield. Drew Lane out there as well. Levi Reed goes in motion. Hartman going to run the keeper. Oh, Tyler up the middle. Touchdown. touchdown. Looks like the Cavs are in for the touchdown. That's an eight-yard touchdown run for Tyler Hartman. So LP. No penalties on the field, nope, right? No okay, penalties. No, nothing yellow. So, oh, so. Uh, offensive lineman pretty excited out there. Uh, number 56, <laughs> uh, Aiden Van Duzer rolling around out there. <laughs> So the Cavaliers get on the board. It's 13 to 6. Tyler Hartman, eight yard touchdown run. A nice opening drive of this second half. And let's see, yeah, this is going to bugaboo uh, this year for the Cavaliers, the uh, PAT attempt. Oh, oh Morris. Wait, someone's jumping. And, uh, uh, we'll see if LP jumped, if Morris was drawn offside. And the snap was great, and the kick was good. Oh, oh but it is a false start on LP. By the way, that was uh, that LP touchdown is brought to you by Town & Country Services, doing whatever it takes 24-7. Plumbing, electric, heating, and cooling for over 100 years. Go to townandcountryservices.com to find out more. So that will move LP back five yards. The Cavaliers will attempt a Financial Plus Credit Union extra point. Drake's got plenty of leg. Yeah, there's no issue with the five no. yards, but uh, you just don't want to see any mistakes on yeah. the extra point. They, Like you said, they've, hit, they've struggled with it. Um, let's see, good snap, good hold, good snap kick. Snap is good, the hold by good. Kurtz. Yep. Yeah, well, looks Weber's good. Weber's got plenty of leg there. So that is a Financial Plus Credit Union extra point. They belong to you, and that's the plus at Financial Plus Credit Union in Peru, Ottawa, Mendota, Morris, and Diamond. With 7.20 to go in the third quarter, the Cavaliers have gotten on the board, and they trail Morris now just by six. It's 13 Two seven here at Morris High School. Well, that's the way you want to start a second half, yep, Mike, coming Mike. out of the gates and an impressive drive. Big runs by Matt Carrico on that drive. Yeah, Carrico was uh, the workhorse for sure. He definitely uh, earned his uh, keep there on that drive. So, And that's what, he, like I said, he's been doing that all year. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's just great to see what uh, he can do when the line blocks a little bit. So uh, it'll be a nice uh, – Nice way to start the second half and see what the defense can do here on Morse's first drive. Yeah, LP gets some momentum. That's a big momentum uh, changer, but uh, Morris has had a big kickoff return already tonight, so that could take the air right back out of the balloon. LP's got to have a nice kick and uh Well, this is be a great here. time for one of uh, Drake Weber's uh, yes. touchbacks into yes, the end be. zone. So this would be a great one to uh, push into the end zone. So we'll see. Yeah, two dangerous uh, returnees, their top two running backs, John Landers and Sam Redinger uh, for Morris. 
Oh, we had, I guess the football get out of play, huh? Yeah, Drake wanted to kick his, uh, he must have uh, a certain gotcha. ball that he likes to use, okay. which is definitely his prerogative. He can right. choose the ball that they kick with, so. Nope, now he's not even going to use that ball, so okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> we had like a Morris uh, a yeah, camera boy. guy uh, threw the ball. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay. All right, we're ready for the kickoff. 13-7, Morris with the lead over LP. Cavaliers with some momentum after their first score of the night. Yep, offense. Uh, the Cavs players are urging the faithful to, uh, oh, that's going to go over yep. the guy's head. That oh, that's into the end zone. zone. That's exactly what we were looking for. So Drake Weber feeding off the momentum with a uh, touchback. And uh, Morris will have it first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. 7.20 to go here in the third quarter. Morris 13, LP 7. Again, uh, these teams have played similar opponents. Rochelle, Plano, and Ottawa, and they've been pretty similar results. Yeah. Caitlin yeah. has just taken a lead uh, 28 to 7 uh, over Ottawa. That's the score that I just got punched over here. So. All right. So uh, Ottawa had a short lived 7 to 6 lead over the Knights, but uh, Caitlin, a perennial state power, and we'll see them next week. Yeah, they're going to be at Howard Fellows, so we'll yep. see what uh, Cavs can do. But another quarterback keeper here. Romack uh, gets a few yards. He was tackled from behind. Yeah, like Drake like, Weber. Uh, Weber with yep. the tackle. So Romack gets about three on the QB keeper. Second down and uh, seven coming up. Got three four more. Yeah, four receivers out, uh, yep. three on the one side. So spreading out the defense once again. Romack is going to hand it off to oh, Landers. Oh, nice play. Uh, nice play by Weber. the defense. Yeah, Drake again, it looked like. Uh, yeah, yep. that was a big play there because he had some room uh, yeah. there. So uh, Weber hung on for dear life and only a two-yard gain on that play, maybe three yards. Third and five, Landers uh, could have easily had a big game, yep, but as Mike absolutely. mentioned, Drake Weber hanging on for dear life. <laughs> Third and five. Morris going to go to the air here. Romack rolling right. Rolling out. For, oh. Gonna be oh, oh, he got hit in the back. Oh, 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 I think that was, oh, it's that was a healthy ball. Bubbled their interception by the defense. So, uh, number 44 with a big hit. Luke Curtis hammered the quarterback. And uh, the ball popped in the air. And I couldn't see who uh, got it. I think it might have been uh, maybe even Tyler Hartman had the ball. I couldn't tell who got that one. But... He got hammered in the back, so Cavs are in business at the uh, Morris 16-yard line, first and 10. So this couldn't, this second half couldn't have started off better for uh, the Cavs. Yeah, Murtis with a huge hit. You could kind of see it coming. He uh, Romack just took too much time. Yeah, and got I thought blindsided. he was going to throw the ball away, but uh, wow. he kept the ball, kept the ball, and he got hammered. So uh, let's see what the Cavs' offense can do. They've got definitely the uh, the momentum here. Yeah, they do, uh, Morris. And a bit of shock here. First and 10 LP at the 16. There's Carrico. The pile's moving. Pile's moving all the way up yep. to the 10. And uh, Carrico turning up the yards for the Cavaliers as LP is in the Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone. 13-7 Morris, but all the momentum right now with LP as they have dominated this second half so far. We're uh, halfway through the third quarter now. Is a big turnover, first turnover of the night. A yep. quarterback sack, Murtis leveled Romack, and the ball went to the turf, and LP recovered. Second and five after the five-yard gain for Caracal. Tyler going to keep it, pitches oh. it to Trayvon. He's oh, got Trayvon's plenty of running room. A lot of room over here. Touchdown, LP. Or actually, no, that was not Trayvon. Corey Walker. Corey, Corey Walker, Walker with, the, with the option there. That was a great block on this side of the field. I couldn't see what receiver was blocking on this side, yeah. but uh, he had a great uh, job on the corner cornerback over on this side. And uh, like you said, Walker in with a touchdown. So uh, Cavaliers tie the score. Great pitch by Hartman to Walker, who used his speed. And a great block, as Mike mentioned. We're tied at 13 with the uh, PAT coming up by Drake Weber. And that is another Town & Country Services Cavalier touchdown. Snap is oh. low. Kurtz with the hold. Oh, it's nice blocked. kick. Blocked. No, no, no. It, it's, right, it's, it's good. good. Okay. No, it, it, it's through the upright. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> so Drake Weber gets the PAT. 
I thought I heard a thud, but uh, no, I went through the uprights. That is a Financial Plus Credit Union extra point. They belong to you, and that's the plus at Financial yeah, at Plus that. Credit Union. And, Cavaliers yeah. 14, Redskins 13. So uh, the shocked uh, sideline over on the other side of the field is uh, they're, they're quiet now. Yeah, the Cavaliers have put up two scores in just over six minutes here in this third quarter. Uh, the Cavaliers... With the big, big QB hit by Murtis. We, yeah, we didn't quite see who recovered the ball. Yeah, that was hard. But, that uh, was uh, <laughs> It was a scramble. Yeah. And the Cavaliers got a refocus here. They got a 14-13 lead, but a lot of football to be played here against the Morris yes. Redskins. Oh, there's, yeah, that's, but, Morris offense can score at any time. Oh, yeah. So just uh, see what the Cavs can do. Just keep this uh, defensive pressure up there. Redinger and Landers back for Morris. And the Cavalier faithful making all the noise here right now. Craig Weber with the kick. And this one's going towards uh, the end zone. Landers drops it at the 5. At the 10, the 15, the 20, and uh, going to go down right about the 20. Yeah, nice return considering he yeah. uh, dropped the ball there. Yeah. So good uh, good return by the Morris returner. And it was Landers, their uh, okay. top running yep. back. Yep. So Cavs, uh, or Morris has the ball first and 10 from, uh, looks like their own 24. 14-13, LP has turned this thing around to start the second half. And let's see uh, what Morris has. Uh, their drive ended in a hurry last time with a uh, fumble. Yeah, LP's done a, a nice uh, adjustment. Let's see if they try to get Miles Johnston back in for Morris. He's been a fantastic receiver. Yeah, he's out here on his, uh, on his island out here. Tarkowski's yeah. got his uh, work cut out for him here. <laughs> Pressure on. Oh, oh big hit in the back. Oh, 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 that's just the way to do it. I think yep. uh, that was Tyler Hartman in the backfield. He blitzed from his uh, – Hit a linebacker position and uh, just broke that play up right from the start. So. Yeah, he made the initial hit, and then three or four other Cavs. Weston Wenzel was there. Drake Weber got in there. Yeah, so that was a loss of five on that play. So Morris is going backwards once again. Landers was the ball carrier. As Mike mentioned, lost five yards on that carry. And it's second down and 15 now for the Redskins. At their own 19-yard line. Cavs are blitzing again. Romac yep. looking for Johnson. Oh, oh nice. Got away from Tarkowski. Oh, nice Drake play Weber. by Drake Weber. Who is that? Is yep. that, is that Weber? Weber? Yep. yep. Weber with the tackle. As they were all over, Johnston that time, Miles Johnson, who's a heck of a receiver, spun away from uh, the first uh, tackler, but Weber was able to track him down. And Morris loses more yardage. One yeah, yard, they lose that one. And, uh, 16. 16 at their own 18-yard line. Yeah, I think uh, Cavs have seen something to uh, put pressure on the quarterback here. So I think that's the key, and don't let him yeah. just sit back there. And... Romack on a pass, and he's got room. Throws, caught at the 30, 35, 40. Out a big yep. gain, huge play yep. for Morris. Yep. The, that uh, was uh, Jepson. Nathan Jepson. Yeah, we've heard of his name so far uh, once before. Yeah, the oh, there's a penalty on the play here, so uh, it's looking. I don't yeah, know it's what... on in front of the LP sideline. So let's see if maybe it was after the the catch. It was way on the other side of the field from uh, where the tackle was made. So let's say uh, you know you have the Morris sideline will erupt if this goes against them. Yeah, I'm gonna think it's gonna be against the Cavs. Uh, oh, sideline warning. Oh, it looks okay, like, just yeah, sideline so, warning. So yeah, nothing, uh, no yards gained or whatnot on this, but. That was a big play for Morris as uh, that quiets the LP faithful for a bit. Big well, gain on that pass play. Yeah, there's no no pressure, so the quarterback was able to sit back there. So I think that's the uh, medicine for the Cavs defense to put pressure on the, on the uh, Morris quarterback because they're first and 10 all the way up to the 43. So that was a 25-yard pass. So first and 10, Morris now. They go four receivers, empty, uh, five receivers, empty backfield. And he's going to run it right up the middle. And he's going to be hit hard about it uh, midfield. Spun ahead. He got a couple of yards. Chris Swain with the hit. Yep. Uh, three yards, it looks like. That's what they do. They just uh, get everyone on the outside, and the quarterback ran right up the middle. Second down and seven. Gain of three for their quarterback, Romack. Zach Romack. 
Landers now in the backfield. They still have four wide receivers. 14-13 LP, three and a half minutes to play in the third. Morris led 13-0 at the half. Romack straight drop back pass, oh. looking for Johnston, and knocked away. Oh, nice play by number four, Ethan Tarkowski. Yep. That was a great play. I mean, Tarkowski's only 5'7", and he was out there on an island with uh, the star receiver yeah, from Johnston. Morris. And, uh, you know, he just he made a great play. So Yeah, they challenged Ethan, and yep. Ethan was up to the challenge. Tarkowski knocked it away. Incomplete, and uh, it's now third down and seven for Morris. Four receivers set once again. Yeah, they got this uh, same. Uh, they're going to roll out to the side. Romack oh. in a pass, throwing, and has a man. First down, breaking tackles inside the 45-yard line. So credit Morris. They come up with another big completion. Yeah, another uh, Romack uh, with the catch on that one. So Romack to Romack. All right. Are there are only two Romacks on this team. Or there may be three? more. I don't know. Oh, there's a couple, couple pair of Romacks. So that was a nice play by them and uh, got a first down all the way down to the Cavs' uh, 43 yard line. First so. and ten. Big third down completion. We've seen a few of those. Romack, the quarterback, runs up the middle and it'll be tracked down by Weston Winslow from behind. Romack spun down. At the LP 39, give them four on the quarterback keeper as uh, everybody kind of catches their breath on that run. But not going to rest for long because Morris, no huddle. Yep, they're, they're going. Four receivers set again, three to the left of Romack. And now he looks towards the sideline for the play call. Plenty of time left on the uh, play clock. Romack is going to keep it again. And gets down about the 36. Tyler Hartman made the tackle for LP. Sure, so, sure-handed tackle for Tyler. Yep, three-yard gain in the play. So third and a long three. Third and three ball you know, Morris has been pretty uh, effective here in the second half on these third down conversions. Yeah. Here, though, you could run. Uh, they've had some long uh, conversions with passes. Yeah, you could. There are a lot of options on yep. this uh, right here. Landers in the backfield, and uh, the quarterback's going to keep it. He's got running room, first down and more, hitting off. Up. Yeah, he was uh, ping-ponging off LP defenders. Romack and first down Morris to the LP 27-yard line. Another nine yards for that run there. Huge, huge drive for Morris as uh, LP gained the lead, but the Redskins marching down the field here to try to get the momentum right back. First and 10 at the Cavalier, 27. Romack throwing and caught. Not much there, though, as the yeah, that's a very short game Jepson with the catch. Yeah. yeah, he had to go down to the turf to catch it. Gives him just three yards, so it'll be second down and seven. Number 23, Jepson for Morris. And we're down to about a minute left here in the third quarter. 14-13 LP, but Morris on the move. Oh, 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 I guess that's uh, a false start, I would imagine, just the way. Uh, yeah, let's see. That would be my guess. I saw a coach over on Morris clapping, though, towards or their side. Maybe side LP was offside. offside. Yeah, we'll see. But usually, yeah, usually it's you know, offsides on LP. Wow, that's tough. Five yard mark off. And it'll be second down and two now. Yeah, I so said I noticed uh, Morris looked like a coach clapping. Oh, so, okay, so. so he must have uh, seen something. Yeah, that's been pretty obvious. Under a minute to play in the third. It's second and two, Morris, as uh, they're at the LP 19-yard line. Yeah, this is their best drive so far, of course, the uh, second half. Oh. Landers spun down. Oh, he's just not, not much. Just, no, not at all there. Ran into a stack of Cavaliers. Swain was um, there. Swain, it looks like Weston Wenzel was yep. there again. So uh, Drake Weber as well. Yep, so no gain on that play. Robisa was in the neighborhood. He's uh, had a nice game on defense. As Maybe Reed. even lost, lost a yard there. Third so, and three now. Third and a long three. Romack with maybe the last play of the third quarter. They don't have to snap it if they don't want to here. There's 10 seconds on the game clock, 15 on the play clock. Romack is going to run it, turns it inside. Oh, that's going to be a first and, down, uh, yep. sure, yeah. He's brought down by About the 16-yard um, line. He gained Chris four. Chris Swain, but uh, like you said, 19 out of four yards. Uh, oh, clock stopped with two seconds. 
And we do have an yeah, update they... here. Uh, Princeton's leading Newman 13-7, to but uh, unknown on what the quarter it is. So That's a heavyweight battle yeah. with uh, Princeton and Sterling Newman. And we have a heavyweight fight going on here. 12 minutes to play in this one. It is LP leading Morris 14-13. But when we come back, the Redskins will have it uh, inside the Cavalier 10. You're listening to LP Football on 103.9 WLPO. Switching is easy. We do it all the time. We switch on the lights. We switch TV channels. Some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, State Farm agent Jessica Strauch, right here in Peru, can switch you over so you can start saving today. Jessica and her team are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Jessica Strauch, it's easy to switch and save. This is Jessica Strauch. Give me a call. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Sunshine, warmer weather, things are getting better, and that means it's time for the Rupert Stand. Delicious burgers, Palantix pork tenderloins, coney dogs, fried pizza burgers, appetizers, flavor burst ice cream, and much, much more. Come and get it any way you want. Call from home, there's limited inside seating, outside picnic tables, and of course, you can eat in your car at the Rupert Stand's retro, blast from the past, 18 electronic menu boards. You want the best bang for your buck? You want the greatest root beer on earth? It's all waiting for you since 1959. The classic all-American drive-in is the Rupert Stand in be in the know in Starved Rock Country with Rod and Tom. Mornings on 103.9 WLPO. Starved Rock News, Talk, and Classic Rock. Coolmaster, the area's leading home improvement company for more than 60 years, wants to help you with your remodeling project. Reduce your energy consumption year-round with Coolmaster's selection of high-quality Energy Star-rated windows and doors. Coolmaster also provides high-quality siding, soffit, glass showers, and three-season roofs. Call 223-8972 for a free estimate or visit the cool master showroom on second street in downtown LaSalle. cool master the illinois valley's leader in window and door replacement and illinois valley tradition for sports continues on 1039 wlpo star rock news talk and classic rock i think we have a uh, yeah. uh, fumble or fumble something and the cavaliers recover romack went back to pass got the ball stripped as we're back here in weston wenzel Recovered the fumble, and LP turns the Redskins over. As Morris was in business, Romack dodged one tackler, but had the ball knocked out. And Wenzel with the huge fumble recovery, and LP turns away the Redskins. Yeah, I think Chris Swain had something to do with that play between him and Ethan Tarkowski. Um, they did something out there in the uh, field, and uh, Weston Wenzel was able to grab the ball. So huge play by the uh, Cavalier defense uh, in the Cavs' red zone. First and 10 LP now at their own 19-yard line. Let's see if they can get another big drive. Hartman, of course, the senior quarterback, shaken up a couple weeks ago. And he gives it back to Carrico. Carrico churning again out Boy, past the 25. I tell you, that offensive line has just yep. been hammering the Morris defense. And that's a, a great gain by Carrico on the first down, seven yards on the play. Nothing fancy there. Matt Carrico with hard running behind the big boys up front for the Cavs. And it gives them even more breathing room. LP moves it out to their own 26-yard line. Two turnovers against Morris in the second half. Let's see if the Cavaliers can take advantage and get the Always important points off turnovers, no matter what sport it is. When you get the force that turnover and the, make the other team pay for a mistake. Second down and three for the Cavaliers. In motion is Trayvon Hunter. Oh, oh, a, uh -oh. Uh, that was a uh, misplay mishap. there. So. Yep. Yep, Tyler Hart turned around to give the ball to somebody, and there was no nobody. One home. <laughs> Looking for somebody, and there was nobody there. Yep, so Hartman so. just went down. He did give it a loss. Yep, one. That happens. So. Uh, negative plays. Let's hope that doesn't hurt the Cavalier drive here. 26-yard line, so they did lose some yardage there. The third down is a big third down play. You'd hate to punt it right back to Morris. And uh, the Redskins uh, trying They're, to get their fans yeah, up. They know this to, is a big play here. Trying to uh, yeah hit their get their faithful going, but uh, they're having none of it right now. The they're not too enthused, huh? Cavs, Cavs faithful <laughs> is uh, much louder. Of course, we're a lot closer to them. But <laughs> Tyler Hartman under center, and LP's oh. gonna have to call another timeout, huh? Yep. Wow. Somebody uh, saw something that uh, 
on the sideline that they didn't like, so they had to call timeout, which is probably smart. But right. again, you know, that's an important timeout. So Cavaliers only have one left uh, going uh, for the rest of the game. Update on our subway scoreboard update: Rock Ridge uh, near half, all over Hall, 42 to seven after three. Caneland over Ottawa, 28 to seven. And we'll see Caneland next week at Howard Fellow Stadium. And, boy, we'd love uh, for it to be uh, 4-0 LP welcoming in a Caneland team that I think has lost just to Sycamore, if I remember that right. I know Caneland and Sycamore played back in week one. Yeah, they were really good. And I think it went overtime. That's always a big battle between those two schools. Yeah, they're so uh, neighbors, basically. Yeah, so. I remember it used to be Sycamore and DeKalb would play right. every year, and then they DeKalb left the conference. Yeah, they're playing the DuPage County right, conference, Right, like 7A schools. Yep. Yeah, which is probably, which made sense for them right. to move that because right. they were much bigger than any of the schools they were playing with us. So after the timeout, LP has a third and four at their own 25, well, about the, almost a 26-yard line. We'll see what the coaches come up with here on fourth, uh, third and four. Yep. You don't get it here. You got a punt. Hartman going to try for a hard count. It worked once tonight. Yeah, I'm sure Morris, the coaches have been told, yep. telling them to. Tyler going to keep oh, it. Oh, I think he's going to get first a first down. And more. Oh, yeah, he's all the way down to the 36. So He had uh, Levi Reed leading uh, blocking there. And a big gain for Tyler Hartman on the uh, option keeper. Mike mentioned he got it out to the 35, uh, about 10 solid yards on that carry for Tyler Hartman. Yep, big play by the Cavs offense. And another update, actually, this is a little bit of a University of Illinois baseball. Cam uh, McDonald, yeah, yeah. former Spring Valley star, hits a yep. double off the wall for an RBI in the bottom of the fourth. Illinois leading Michigan State 7-4. to four. Pretty cool. They got Tyra Barchick at U of yep. I as well yep. on the pitching staff. Yep. Yep. First and 10 LP. Hartman gives it to Carrico and uh, Matt still he's going. Still, he's all the way up to the 40. 40. Yeah, yeah, so another five yards. He got behind a couple of his linemen and uh, pushed him forward. He'll take five yards on that carry every time on a first down. Yeah, so that's going to be roughly about 98 yards for Carrico. So he's just about to hit that century mark once again. About nine minutes to play, 14-13 LP. And they can take their time. They don't need to rush anything right. either, too. So they can take as much time as they want. They got that 15 seconds left in the play clock. Tyler's looking right at it, so... Second and five for the Cavaliers in motion. They give it to Carrico again, and not much there this time for Matt. Nope, that's nice job by Morris up front. One yard on that play. Looks like uh, maybe two. Joseph Weltmeyer at the linebacker at the bottom of the pile for the Redskins. Yeah, gained uh, about two, so it'll be third down and three for the Cavaliers, a long three coming up. Eight and a half minutes and counting, as Mike mentioned, uh, the clock is on LP side. But you also, you don't want to play not to lose. You, no, know, you want no, to stay you aggressive. aggressive. Yeah, you want to play aggressive. I mean, all the momentum in the second half has been owned by LP, so uh, keep your foot on the gas. Hartman's going to keep it again. Tyler's oh, got the first down. down. Yep. Nice play by Tyler. That was a straight uh, quarterback run off to the uh, left side after outside the tackle. He brings it all the way to the 47, so a nice five-yard gain by Tyler. Impressive running here. Big runs by Tyler Hartman when the Cavaliers need the senior leader the most. And the Cavaliers move the chains first and 10. That's the most important part. Keep the chains moving, which keeps the clock moving. First and 10 LP at their own 40-70-yard line. We're under eight minutes to go in this ball game as we hit uh, 8 o'clock. You're listening to Cavalier Football on 1039 FM AM 1220 WLPL LaSalle, Peru, Oglesby. Yeah, I would like to see what have been in that meeting at halftime yeah. with the coaches to see what they saw because it's a totally different Cavaliers team here in the second half. Tyler going to... There's just so many bodies right up Oof, the center, yeah. so it's hard to <laughs> keep track of what's going on. Carrico. But, uh, Carrico got all the way to, to midfield. Uh, midfield. Ooh, Ottawa Marquette 35, Monmouth United 0 in the second quarter. And Marquette Crusaders have turned themselves into a football program in Class 1A. They've had some nice seasons. Second down, eh, give Carrico 3 on that carry. 
Well, there's going to be under seven minutes to go in this game when the Cavaliers break the huddle. Morris has three timeouts. Still too early to, uh, if you're Morris, to start taking yep. your timeouts. Yep. Yep. But yep. Uh, you know they're going to—they're starting to get a little antsy. Help even get a couple more first downs. Hartman going to keep it. Tyler stumbles ahead for maybe two. Yeah, it looks like they had one of their uh, Morris uh, defenders. Uh, he bounced it in the backfield. Tyler just kind of lunged forward for a yard or so. So. Be third down and about oh five for LP. Third down and six. I'll give him one yard in the carry. So it's a third and long for the Cavaliers. They haven't had too many of these in the second half. No, no, they've been all pretty much in the running game here. So they've had that one. Uh, um, no, the uh, no, they've had no no passes here in the uh, complete in the second half. So. The wind's picked up a little bit. You can kind of hear the wind every now and then. Yeah. And, uh, so third down and six for LP. Hartman's going to pass. Tyler's got time. Throwing oh. out of the reach. Drew Lane was the wow. intended receiver. Drew Lane was open, but Tyler let him up, let him a little bit too much. And uh, well, there was a Morris, Morris player defender. injured. Yeah, he was. He had Hartman in the backfield. Uh, yeah, he's uh, slow getting up. up. But he uh, he made Hartman throw it. Yeah, Lane got some opening. But uh, it was overthrown for Drew. He couldn't come down with it. So Morris D comes up with a big play, and now LP will have to punt it away. Drake will try to pin the Redskins deep. Yeah, this is a smart play to punt uh, here at midfield or just inside midfield. Uh, hopefully Drake can uh, get it inside the 10 maybe and yep. just, uh, like you say, pin Morris down. Well, but... LP's going to come out with a regular offense here. Oh, well, this is a... okay. kind of surprised here. And they're going for it, and they fumble the snap. Hartman's in trouble. Tyler's going to be brought down, throws it away. Just uh -oh. a disaster. Yeah, a disaster all around. Not what you want to do there. Because... And Tyler's shaken up. I didn't know if they were going to throw a, a intentional grounding. And there yeah. is a Cavalier player, Levi Reed, shaken up. Yeah, just a disaster play all around. LP went for it, and uh, Levi Reed is shaken up behind the play. Hartman was hit, threw it out of bounds, avoided the sack. But uh, Morris is going to have the ball uh, in very good field position. Yeah, because it's uh, with that uh, intentional grounding penalty, they, I don't know if they're going to mark that off. So it'll be another 10 yards. But I think the biggest thing here is Levi Reed injured because he's been one of the star cab defenders all yep. year. So you really don't want him on the field other than uh, upright and playing. Take this opportunity to, uh, again, give you a Subway scoreboard update. As Mike mentioned, Marquette leading over Monmouth United 35-0. At last check, it was Princeton over Newman 13-7. We'll see if we can get an updated score on that. Caneland was uh, in up big over Ottawa heading to uh, the end of that game. And Rock Ridge up big. They're actually going to have a running clock over the Hall Red Devils in uh, that game. Yeah, so look at uh, Morris. Looks like they're going to start their uh, next position, possession on the Cavaliers' 37-yard line. So great field position for Morris uh, with five and a half or 5.50 left in the game. So Lyle uh, beating Streeter 36-25 at the end of three. And uh, so Levi Reed uh, shaken up, uh, needing a little assistance. Levi's been uh, a stalwart for the Cavaliers this season especially on defense. He's had some big blocks uh, on the, the offense, and uh, he was behind the play. He got, I don't know if he got rolled over maybe, rolled up. Sometimes you see that with uh, yeah. guys trying to block. Yeah, he's going to be. Uh, and they did call that intentional grounding. Yeah. That's going to move. I didn't, I mean, it was, but I didn't see the flag come out right away. Yeah, it was from the back defend, or back official yeah. on the other side of the field. <laughs> so the one standing right next to the play didn't no. throw it. I go, I, this is, that's strange, but uh, first and 10, Morris at the LP 37. So the Cavaliers chose not to punt. And yeah, I was kind of surprised with that. Romack back. He's in trouble. We're going to be oh, sacked. Weber again. Drake Weber with the sack. Wow. He's been uh, all over the field again this uh, second half here. And you wonder, side. Mike, and again, I think we both thought they were going to punt, but Maybe it's just showing that they have a lot of confidence in this Cavalier defense right now to make the big plays. And Weber comes up huge right there, an eight-yard loss on the QB sack. But LP is without one of their top defenders right now. Yeah, whoever their, uh, his sub is is going to have to really step it up. because oh, there's a screen pass. 
Romack in trouble. Sacked again. Wow. Weston Wenzel. Weston West, Wenzel once again all over the field. And we got Morris Tim players looking at themselves wondering what, what went wrong there. Will Doherty also in on the play, so maybe he's the replacement for Levi Reed. Let's see. Yep. So it'll be third. Third down and 23 now. We're under five minutes to go. LP's got to keep everybody in front of you. Don't let the big yep. play here. Yeah, they've had a lot of big plays on the uh, passing game, so let's see what kind of pressure the Cavs can Romack put on. back. He's, He's got, got, got some... plenty of time throwing. It's caught. And he turns it inside. He's oh. going down the sideline. 20. Touchdown, Morris. Wow. Oh. That is just a killer there. Wow, Man. he got away down the sideline. 50 yards. Jepson with the uh, reception. LP had two straight sacks. And Morris threw. He, he caught it about 10 yards short of the first down. But credit Jepson made some plays down the sidelines. And the Redskins get the lead back with 4.27 to go, leading 19-14 to 14 hmm. over LP. And I would think Morris would probably go for two here. Yeah, you would think with uh, get it to a seven-point game here. Yeah, Romack is out there. So is Jorge Loza. That's a new name for Morris in the backfield. Well, we'll see. I mean, LP struggled with extra points, so well, it's not had, a given. Uh, play clock's only at nine, so unless they want to call timeout, they well, they they should be set here. Oh, and Womack fumble, fumble. fumble. Two, and uh, yeah, it'll it be no good. Yeah. All right, very good. So fumble, fumble recovery by Luke Murtis. So he's been all over the quarterback uh, so yeah. far. <laughs> so, yeah, no uh, good on the two-point conversion. So Cavs, all they need to do is they need to uh, drive the ball, um, get that touchdown. So 19-14, Morris with a huge, to say the least, on a third and long. All the momentum again was on LP's side. But credit Romack, their quarterback, he found Jepson down the sideline and great uh, yards after the catch. Jepson got uh, really only needed one block, yeah. and he was gone. Yeah. Well, I mean, they've done it all game, too, on these long third and longs. They've made yeah. several of those. So uh, that's the uh, bugaboo for the Cavs defense today. And tonight's game is just the third and long. Um, just haven't been successful. 19-14 Morris over LP. 4.27 to go. And the Cavaliers have used two of their timeouts already, which, uh, again, that, that could come in big. Let's see if they could get a good return with either Weber or Hunter. Yeah, I mean, the Cavs have, what, four and a half minutes left, so they're yeah. not really built for speed, so no. hopefully they get a good return and at least get some good field position because uh, the passing game has not been uh, ultra successful tonight. No, the one big pass play got called back right. in a penalty. Right. So let's just get a nice return and uh, no penalties and um, just go from there. And it's going to be a returnable kick for Drake Weber at about the 16. Drake's at the 20, 25, 30, 35, 30, out to the 45-yard line. So LP does get a nice return from Drake Weber. Yep, that was a nice uh, nice play. 46-yard line or so. 19-14, 4.21 to go in the ball game. LP's going to have to open it up a little bit offensively. Yep, they're going to have to, uh, you know, keep going with Carrico at some point, but, uh, you know, passing game's going to have to come alive. Let's see if you uh, get Sean Whitfield involved. He's a playmaker. Sean has been quiet tonight. He's one of the wingbacks, almost in a tight end position here for the Cavaliers. He goes in motion. Hartman no, handed off to, off to Carrico. He Carrico to midfield. So. It's a nice solid game. Out to the near, yeah, as Mike mentioned, midfield. Four yards on the carry. Second down and six for LP. Again, LP without one of their uh, star players, Levi Reed's on the trainer's table. Second down and six for the Cavaliers right at the 50-yard line. It's been a heck of a high school football game tonight, regardless of who comes out on top. Yeah, no, this is exactly what we wanted to see. 13-0, uh, Cavs were down, but they came right back in the third quarter. So, Whitfield goes in motion. Hartman with a pitch to Whitfield. Sean turns it in 50. 
45 puts his head down. Yep, this is what you wanted to see with Woodfield yep. all the way down to the 41. So that's a nine yard. Or it's the first down first carry. First down, yep, absolutely. So now we got a Morris player injured. Uh, there so. was a big hit yeah. down there. So I don't know if that was during the collision with Woodfield, but that was a really nice uh, pop there by somebody. Yeah, Whitfield's a playmaker, and Sean turned uh, turned it inside, got the first down there, and uh, we do have an injury timeout on the field. We'll yeah. keep it right here. Three thirty-three to go in the ball game. Nineteen fourteen, uh, Morris over LP, but the Cavaliers are at the uh, Redskin forty-one yard line. The injured Redskin on the field is a uh, Devin Bailey, a uh, six-foot senior, offensive and defensive lineman. So both teams dealing with some injuries late in this game. Been, yeah, uh, again. So, yeah, we saw our, our Cavs star defensive player uh, go off the field and not come back, unfortunately. So hopefully this player isn't hurt that much. So, oh, there's oh a flag. Why is there a penalty? Flag? Oh, is Morris? Maybe Morris coaches were uh, oh, running their mouth a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so they this... had a referee threw a flag because the Morris coaching staff attending to their injured player were uh, saying something to the officiating crew. Wow. I don't think I've ever seen that. That's just, uh, I mean, the LP, hopefully the Cavaliers can take advantage. Yeah, that's probably going to be like an unsportsmanlike contact yeah. penalty. That's 15 yards. So Cavaliers are definitely going to take that. I don't think the Morris fans realize what happened yet. No. They haven't marked it off or they haven't called it yet. But I can't imagine they're going to pick that flag up. Yeah, he would have thrown it. There no, it goes. He was De De dead ball foul. Yeah. Dead ball. Yep. So 15 yards. Wow. Like, that is huge. Out there for an injured player, his own player. And uh, I guess the, the coach was running his mouth. And uh, you could tell the referee was having none of it. And through the flag, dead ball personal foul goes against Morris. Yeah. That'll move the ball all the way down to the Redskin 26 yard line. He must have um, said something. Yep. I don't really know if it was a magic not, word uh, or yeah. magic words. But, I mean, I can't imagine what the problem would have been. I no. mean, I, there didn't look like a dirty play. I mean, maybe he thought he saw a dirty play. Yeah. But I don't know. But, hey, we'll take it. Clock running, 3.20 to go in the ball game. We just want to score here and not give Morris too much time. Carrico, not a lot there for Matt. He's turned back. And um, maybe a yard or two on the game. Yep, so one-yard mm -hmm. gain. Three minutes and counting. Ball spotted just inside the 25-yard line. Second down and nine. This game going to come down to the wire here. Yep, we're, uh, we're, we we can't uh, live with a Drake Weber field nope. goal here, so they've got to score a touchdown. Hartman under center, Whitfield in motion. Tyler going to pitch it. And, boy, the ball here are going to be tackled way back at the 30. And uh, they were lucky to make the uh, pitch play to Corey Walker. A uh, big, big loss on the pitch. Wow. Nice job by Morris. They strung that one out. Now Hartman waited to pitch it. Walker was lucky to bring it in, not fumble it. That's a huge loss. It'll be third and 14 now for the Cavaliers back at the 30-yard uh, line. Hmm. You know, the Cavaliers, though, still have two plays here. Try to get this first down. Going to be about two minutes to go in the ball game. LP with uh, one timeout, Morris, all three of theirs. Yep, it's going down to the wire here. Under two minutes, like you said. Let's see what the Cavs offer. Tyler's going to throw. He's looking. Caught by Drake Butler at the 20. And, uh, boy, he gets most of the yardage back. Just an athletic play by Drake Weber. Hartman threw it up for Drake, and he made the catch. It's going to be yeah. short of the first yeah. down. So it's but you got a lot of the down. yardage there, yep. fourth down and about four. I wonder if the Cavs are going to call their last time out here, or maybe the clock's running. Yeah. Weber's going to come out for a breather. Time, oh, LP's going to use their yep. last time out. There it is. Well, it's the biggest play in the game, so I, you know, I don't blame them. Yeah, you're, you can't rush anything like that, no. so. Yeah. Fourth and four after this timeout, coming down to the wire. 36-14, uh, Caneland now leading more, uh, Ottawa. So what a football game this has been. Yeah, this is uh, what we thought they'd be. You know, Cavs 3-0, and Morris 3-1. and So um, 
Friday Night Lights here. <laughs> this is what we want. Yeah, Drake a little shaken up after that catch. Yeah, he's been all over the field on the yeah. defensive side, so I can't imagine that he's not going to be uh, feeling this tomorrow. So they'll have to look for a different playmaker here on the biggest play of the season so far for the Cavaliers. Fourth down. Well, like you said, Woodfield is out there, and uh, Trayvon Hunter. Carrico has been all over the field. I mean, he's been running the ball, so I don't know if the Cavs are going to run it here. That would be pretty gutsy to run uh, yeah. Carrico, even though he's done very well. But i got long four yards to go. So and I think, yeah, I mean, if you can, I know it didn't work well last time, but I don't know if the option is to play here because you want Tyler Hartman with the football and a big, big play. And go down swinging with Tyler Hartman, your senior quarterback. Yeah. Carrico is out there along with Whitfield, Trayvon Hunter, Reese Kurtz is that receiver, Nolan Hamilton as well. Here we go, fourth and four for the Cavaliers at the 20-yard line of Morris. Hartman's going to throw, looking, caught by Reese oh, Kurtz. He's got to go. He's got to go. Uh, got to get in, touchdown, LP. And they scored a touchdown. They scored. Reese Kurtz broke away from the would-be tackler. The senior makes a huge play and jumped into the end zone, got hit, kind of airplaned into the end zone, 20 yards, Hartman to Kurtz, and the Cavaliers get the lead back 20 Boy, to 19. I swear I saw, I thought I saw the ball yeah. going out somewhere but because uh, he got hammered right at the end zone. But 20-yard uh, pass play to Reese Kurtz from Tyler Hartman and uh, the Cavaliers have taken the lead, and are they going to go for two here? Yeah, make it a three-point three point game. You wonder how much of it is with Drake Weber shaking up, too. That's true, yeah. I mean, But we, the, yeah, the one point doesn't do you any good. Correct. So they, yeah. they might as well just go for two here. At least make just, it a field goal game. Um, obviously, there's one minute and 18 seconds left, so there's plenty of time for Morris to score. Here's Trayvon, Trayvon Hunter. Hunter trying to get there. Uh, well, I, nope. I don't think he does got Does not it. get nope. there, yep. So, Morris can win it with a field goal. That, by the way, LP touchdown brought to you by Town & Country Services, doing whatever it takes 24-7. Plumbing, electric, heating, and cooling for over 100 years. Go to townandcountryservices.com to find out more. The Cavaliers have punched right back and have retaken the lead 20-19 to over Morris, 118 to go. In wow. this football game, LP, no timeouts. Morris has all three remaining. Cavaliers trying to hang on with one of their top defenders, Levi Reed, out of the game. And uh, well, it doesn't look like Drake's going to kick the ball either. Oh so that's just not what you want to see here. Drake Weber on the sideline. Yeah, I'm trying to see. Yeah, he is on the bench. So yeah. Drake might be out. Yeah, he's done. I think the trainer's talking to him right now. So, um, wow. I know that uh, Joey Shepard is the backup kicker for the Cavs, so uh, he hasn't had any work yet uh, this year, obviously, so we'll see what Joey can do. He's okay. a uh, junior, um, yeah. so we'll see what the junior kicker can do here, and uh, I don't expect a, a uh, touchback. touchback by any no. means, but... Uh, you know, they just have to get a good, you know, maybe a squib kick and just have no return. You know, we don't want Morris running all over the field here. So, LP with two key injuries here late with uh, Reed and Weber both appearing to be out for the rest of the game. 20-19, to 19, though, the Cavaliers lead. So let's see what uh, Shepard can come up with for LP. Big situation for Joey. Yeah, this is definitely a pressure pack to, uh, of all times to do that, but. Oh, that's... Get some air under the kick, and it's going to be taken at about the 20, 25, 30, and stepped out of bounds. Yep. Not bad. No, that's all right. Yeah, so the Morris will have the ball for first and 10 on their own 31-yard line. They have to, you know, I haven't seen the kick. I mean, the kicker's been uh, an extra points have done pretty well, so I would imagine a field goal is in his uh, wheelhouse. But see what the Cavs defense can do without Levi Reed and Drake Weber. They've been, uh, other than Weston Wenzel, yeah. they've been all over the field, so. First and 10 LP. Let's see what their defense can do here as Morris has it at their 30. So I think the Cavs have to try to put some pressure on uh, like they have when they've been very successful. Romack, the quarterback, and he's going to throw, and they're going to set up the wide receiver screen. He's got running room again, brought down out past the 40 
Wenzel ran him down from behind, or Tyler Hartman did, but uh, that'll stop the clock. That was Johnston. They got the big play receiver back in action, and he gets 14 yards out to the 44-yard line. Clock stopped as they move the chains. Now it's running a minute left. And oh, almost a fumble a snap. On they that run one. the screen again. He's coming inside. Not a let there that time. Lay on him if you're LP. Take your time getting up. Yep, that's going to call timeout here. Yeah, make him call timeouts. That was Swain and Tarkowski with the tackle. Gain of about four on that play. They've been running these quick screens, looking to break some tackles, as they've done a few times tonight. That was only three yards. So Morris uses their first time out, 53 seconds to go in the game, 20 to 19 hmm. LP leading Morris. Well, you got the strength against strength here, uh, Morris' yeah. offense versus the Cavs' defense. So uh, Morris has got some size on their line and uh, some playmakers. So Cavs' defense are going to have to step up like they have all all second half. Yeah. I mean, so Cavs have done fantastic work here uh, in the second half. So we'll see if they can just hold on for another 53 seconds. Again, Weber and Levi Reed both out, two key defenders for the Cavaliers. So it's the next man up mentality for LP on this uh, drive. Yep. And against uh, Morris offense that has already shown a few times tonight, they are a quick strike offense. Yep. I know uh, I know they both want to be out there, but uh, they're just going to yeah, you, you know they're definitely both not feeling well. If, yeah, if they're both not in there. Yeah, there's, I mean, <laughs> Levi, he's got He's a, out of his jer jersey. Yeah, he's got an ice pack on his left knee, and Drake is uh, – I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna speculate what's yep. wrong with Drake. So they're gonna uh, do the pump fake. He's uh, rolling. He's being chased down. Throws out of the backfield. 50, 45, 40. Knocked out of bounds. His uh, his outlet talking trash a little bit after the tackle was Puckett. And uh, you better watch it. Yeah. I mean, they. I don't know if they'd call it, but you know, there's so, really no reason for that. So they get it down to the 40, and he's out of bounds. Clock stops at 44 seconds. Uh, Morris moving the football here. LP could use a sack. They empty the backfield. Romack on a run. He's got running room. 30. Breaks the tackle. 25 20. Turns it back inside. Down inside the 20. All the way to the Cavalier 12 yard line. They did the quarterback keeper to Romack and Morris quickly. Clock is running. 30 seconds. It should stop. No, he stopped. It stopped. Okay, now it did. And what we got here? I think Morris, uh, you know, the hometown clock keeper, may have taken a little extra time off. I saw them they use uh, their stop second the time clock. Out? I saw them stop the clock, and then uh, as soon as the ball set, they started it again. So we'll see how much time they're going to put on there. Um, I'm going to guess they probably will put time back on. Yeah, it's it's a really judgmental to how much time you put back on. Right, yeah. I mean, it's it's just, not like pros or college where you can go to the review and the, the cameras. Still a lot of time left. I mean, yeah. 23 seconds is a, is, a, is a long time, and there should be only one timeout left for Morris. Not sure if Morris has – I mean, they've – they made uh, one extra point, their first touchdown, so as I'm looking ahead to see how their kicker is. Again, he's made an extra point, but they've had a two two uh, failed two point conversions. Uh, otherwise, because Morris is in uh, normally it would be in field goal range there uh, inside right. the uh, Illinois Valley Credit Union red zone at the Cavalier 13 yeah. yard line, so, 23 seconds to go. Wow, so. what a football game here again! Somebody's going to fall short, and that's a shame. These two teams, uh, Morris owned the first half. LP's. Uh, then in favor most of the second half. Yep. But each team with big answers here late. Credit Morris. Uh, they're putting this drive together with their backs against the wall. Romack, the quarterback, has made some big plays. He's a junior. And he's going to roll left. He's under pressure. Turns it back inside. Oh, that's what they needed. The Broke down. Needed big sack. Clock sack down to 19 seconds. Will Doherty with the sack. That's a huge play. So Back they, to the 19 yard oh, line. So that's the final timeout for Morris. So Cavs can get a sack here again. That would be the end of the game. Yeah. So yeah. 
Morris is going to have to play it a little careful here. They're on the 19-yard line, so it would be, what, a 36-yard field goal from here. Yeah, Morris, with the with the athletes they have, I mean, they're probably still thinking. Oh, no, they're not kicking six, now. But, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, they're you, definitely not kicking now. But. Bottom line is they can't take another big loss. Right. And you said, like you said, Mike, there's no timeouts. Right. So if they get. if the They really got to throw towards the sideline or end zone. Right. At this point. Yep, I'm gonna I'm gonna think they're gonna go for the end zone. They have a, obviously a cracks at and more than one crack at it because it's only second down. It looks like they they can get a yeah. first down. Yeah, that's it's right at the three yard line. Yeah, looks that, like. so uh, that's an advantage for Morris as they can get a first down. Second and sixteen with the ball on the nineteen of LP. Twenty to nineteen, the Cavaliers lead the Redskins. According to the scoreboard, 339 total yards for Morris, 239 for LP. Uh, the big stats, though, LP 209 rushing yards, Morris 243 passing. So here we go. Second down. Uh, Morris will come out of their timeout. It's a uh, Cavalier program that wants to reach the level of the likes of Morris. So uh, let's see if the Cavaliers can pull this one out. No penalties. No nope. uh, offensive. Uh, you know, no defensive uh, passing. Defensive interference. Pass interference. Yeah. Yep. That's. Romack looking, looking. Pocket. Oh, this, that could be the game. Goes down. Weston Wenzel was back there. No, why also are they there was, on the clock? Also there was Swain. I thought no, they were out of timeouts. No, they're out of timeouts. There's no timeouts. Nope. That's got to be, uh, that's a penalty there, I would imagine. Or wait, do they, the clock says no timeouts. They should not, yeah, the, the clock should Do they should have timeouts? How are they, yeah, you know, if the scoreboard, which is ran by Morris, says no timeouts, the game should be over. That that official is, I don't know how they would have one time, they should not have another timeout left. Well, yeah, I don't know, I guess they're going to give Morris... So a big sack and not much time came off the clock either. They're back at the 24-yard line. Wow. I don't know. That's scoreboard has zero timeouts left, so I'm not really sure how that worked. But Cavaliers have not had the the go of the officials so far in this game. So this could be the last play. Romack throwing for the end zone. And it's oh, going to be a pass no, interference. No. Are they going to throw it? Nope, nope. They let it go. Ethan Bell was on the coverage. Oof. Wow. And Trayvon Hunter was there as well. There's still time. Five I mean, seconds went off the clock. I mean, is it what down is it? Fourth, fourth down. Fourth down. So I think the Morris is going to have to try to. Are they going to go for a few up? They're going to bring in the field All goal. Right. So I think the kicker's got enough leg on here. So so they're on the 25-yard line. The so 24. 41 yard field goal. Yep, 41-yard field goal from the center of the field. So here we go. Henry Hansen. Snap is down. The kick is up. I don't think it's going to make it. And it's short. It's short. The Cavaliers win the game. There's still two seconds left in the game. It's not over yet, I guess. Hansen was short by a good 10 yards. Yeah, Barely that good. was not going to make, uh, make it there. Cavaliers are... Um, alacious on the field. Yeah, That's as a, they should be. It's, uh, it's still two seconds to go, though. So they can just do a victory formation with Tyler Hartman. And this game will be over. Cavalier defense There's, made the plays when they needed to in the end. Cavalier offense. Uh, they got to get out there, get 11 guys, no matter who it is. <laughs> yeah, the, they have to get off the field, whoever's not supposed to be on there. And just uh, the one take play. the knee. And the Cavaliers will get a program-defining win here for Coach Jose Medina and his staff winning at Morris in a game that was wild and wacky with 20-19. Uh, to 19. Cavaliers were down 13 nothing at the half. Wow. And credit That's... the Redskins. They didn't go away. They answered back. It literally was a heavyweight fight here between these two teams throwing haymakers in the second half. Yeah, it's just, that's that's stunning. That I that's fantastic game for the Cavs. 
They just came out in the third quarter and just punched Morris right in the mouth. Yep. So, again, uh, Tyler Hartman will take a knee, and the Cavaliers will win this one 20-19 over Morris. Wow. And that is it. That's what a game. game. What a game by both of these clubs. 20 to 19. The Cavaliers come into Morris and stun the Redskins. Cavaliers 4 0 on this season. One more game to go in this uh, spring. That. Hey, there's good sportsmanship out there with the defenders. They're, uh, they're, that's, I'd like to see that after a game like that. That was a hard fought game. Cavaliers win at Morris, 20 to 19. We'll uh, break this wild one down. Huge win for the Cavaliers against the Skins. LP wins on your home for Cavalier football, 103.9 at WLPO. When a play breaks down on the football field, you've got the rest of the game to make up for it. When something breaks down at home, you need prompted professional service. That's why at Town & Country Services, their phones are manned 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to ensure that your problems and questions with plumbing, heating, and cooling are all taken care of promptly and professionally. Town & Country Services offer free estimates and affordable rates. Their licensed professionals and friendly staff have been a staple in the Illinois Valley since 1919. Give them a call anytime in Tonica at 815-442-3415 or Princeton at 815-872-2200. Wouldn't it be nice to bank within your community and know that your funds stay local? Hi, this is Mike Porter from Eureka Savings Bank. Here at Eureka, we are as local as it gets. Get your loan where the decision is made locally. Get help with all your banking questions from Eureka's helpful team made up of locals from your great community. When you bank with Eureka, you invest in your community. Local lending, local decisions, local people, and convenient local locations. Visit Eureka locally in LaSalle, Mendota, Oglesby, and Peru. Hablamos Espanol, member of DIC. For the ones finding new ways to ensure the job always gets done. For the ones wearing many hats. For the ones who are hands-on, even from far away. And the ones keeping business moving forward. We are Granger, offering supplies and solutions for every industry. With 24-7 support and experienced staff at over 250 local branches. Call quickgranger.com or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. If I'm not commuting anymore, where do I really want to live? While you handle life's questions, Merrill Guided Investing helps you manage your portfolio and invest for your next move with the option to work with an advisor at a low cost to minimum. Merrill, a Bank of America company. Visit MerrillEdge.com slash investing goals to get started today. Investing involves risk. Merrill Lynch, Pierce, Fenner, and Smith Incorporated, both a registered broker dealer and investment advisor, member of IPC. Investment products are not FDIC insured or not bank guaranteed to maintenance value. Listen on FM 1039, AM 1220 with the free WLPO app, or ask your smart speaker to play 1039 WLPO. Starved Rock News, talk, and classic rock. What a game. LP wins at Morris 20 to 19, and the Cavaliers go to 4 0. Morris falls to 3 2. The uh, scoring summary. Morris got things going early, 10-21 in the game. 35-yard touchdown pass, Romack to Johnston. The kick was good. Johnston then struck in the second quarter with a 31-yard pass play at 10-23. The PAT was no good. 13-0 Morris at the half. Cavaliers, though, made adjustments and uh, scored in their first possession of the second half. Tyler Hartman, an 8-yard TD run at 7-20. Weber added the PAT. Then uh, Walker with an 11-yard run on the uh, option pitch. Weber added the PAT just uh, about a minute and a half after their previous score after a big uh, fumble against Morris. And LP took the lead 14-13 after three. The Redskins got the lead back with 4.27 to go, a big 50-yard touchdown pass, Romack to uh, Jepson. But the Cavaliers worked their way back. A big penalty on the Morris coaching staff helped. Yep. And Reese Kurtz with a just a highlight reel. Um, great for Reese to make that uh, pass catch. Dove into the end zone, 20 yards. The PAT failed. Morris, though, came right back. Had uh, first down inside the LP20, but some big plays by the Cavaliers defense. And they hang on to beat the Morris Redskins. Morris attempting a 41-yard field goal. And it went a uh, good probably 10 yards short. Cavaliers win over Morris 2019. There were two turnovers in the game, both on Morris. Uh, Murtis had a hit on Romack, causing a fumble. And uh, then Wenzel with a big fumble recovery uh, against their quarterback as well. So 2019 LP over Morris. And, uh, Mike, have you got some final numbers? Yeah, wow, that was uh, that was some game. Um, yeah, we had we – had, 
Um, obviously, Matt Carrico was the leading rusher for the Cavaliers with uh, 107 yards, once again over 100 yards. Tyler Hartman with uh, 65 yards rushing. Drake Weber pitched in with 14, and Trayvon Hunter uh, threw in uh, seven yards rushing. Of course, Tyler had some incomplete passes, but he had those two huge completions in the uh, fourth quarter, the 10-yarder to uh, Drake Weber, and, of course, that uh, 20-yard touchdown pass to Reese Kurtz, which was – Wow. Uh, stunning as it was how Reese uh, got hammered right as he hit the end yep. zone, but he was able to hold on to the ball into the end zone for the touchdown. And what makes the game even more remarkable here at the end here with uh, two of the star defensive players were missing from the Cavaliers with uh, Drake Weber and Levi Reed being on the sideline. So uh, stunning uh, performance by the Cavaliers defense. And um, just uh, it's <laughs> – it's hard to explain it. I mean, yeah. Morris had the game. I mean, they were up 13 nothing at halftime, and it looked like the Cavs were totally out of the game. But as soon as that third quarter started, it was totally sep- totally different team. Totally different team. So yeah, they, hats so off to the Cavaliers. First time they trailed all season, uh, yep. and uh, yep. they had adversity. And uh, the Cavaliers, against a very solid Morris team, did just enough and uh, pulled out the 20-19 to uh, 19 win over the Morris Redskins. Take another short break. When we come back, we'll tell you the drive of the game and the player of the game. 20-19 to 19 LP with a thrilling win over the Redskins. Back with more Cavalier uh, postgame coverage here on 103.9 WLP after this. Switching is easy. We do it all the time. We switch on the lights. We switch TV channels. Some of us switch partners while square dancing. Well, that's a stretch. But what's not a stretch is how you can switch and save with State Farm. In fact, State Farm agent Jessica Strauch, right here in Peru, can switch you over so you can start saving today. Jessica and her team are ready to welcome you to the State Farm neighborhood. With Jessica Strauch, it's easy to switch and save. This is Jessica Strauch. Give me a call. When you want the real deal, like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Don't sit. Ah, my back. Whether you're getting down in a three-point stance, getting down off a ladder, or getting down on the dance floor, you need a chiropractor on your health care team. Dr. Mike Gurkovich at Gurkovich Family Chiropractic in LaSalle utilizes the most advanced technology to provide care for men, women, and children of all ages. Go to drgurkovich.com and see all the ways having a chiropractor on your team can help you on your way to a healthy lifestyle. That's drgurkovich.com. The biggest games and the best matchups are on 103.9 WLPO. Star Rock News Talk and Class. Classic Raw. Jeremy Aiken and Mike Porter back here at Morris High School. It's a W for the LP Cavaliers, 20 to 19 over the uh, Morris Redskins. Time now for our Bill Walsh Automotive Group drive of the game. Tonight's drive of the game brought to you by the Bill Walsh uh, Automotive Group. Find your next ride at BillWalsh.com without any uh, doing any driving at all. And a couple of nominees, I'm sure, for the drive of the game. Yeah, Mike it's... first, LP coming out of this uh, halftime with a big score, but uh, obviously the game-winning drive came at the end and uh, capped off with a 20-yard touchdown yeah. pass, Reese Kurtz from Tyler Hartman. Yeah, that was so big. I mean, obviously the Cavs had, were trailing most of the game that first half, then they went ahead, then Morris went back ahead, and the Cavs just got the ball, and um, they <laughs> they ran it right down Morris' throat, and then they had that pass to Reese Kurtz at the end to get that 20-yard touchdown pass. Um, obviously the Cavs offense hadn't been passing very much this game, um, but it was just uh, a fantastic uh, finish to that drive. And I think, like you said, there were a couple of nominees for the drive of the game, but I think to give the Cavs the lead, I think that's the most important drive of the, of the game. Yeah, you know, it's it's nice when we have uh, plenty of drives to choose from. Right. Uh, first half, not so much, but uh, right. Cavaliers come up big in the end. Our First State Bank Player of the Game. The Player of the Game is brought to you by First State Bank, locally owned, committed to exceptional service and banking products like Casasa Checking and on-the-go mobile banking. To learn more, contact the winning team at First State Bank, member FDIC. One name that we can can, uh, constantly call tonight, it seemed like, and he made a big fumble recovery late in the game, was uh, number 55, the senior linebacker, Weston Wenzel, plays defensive line as well. He's been great all year, but, yeah. man, Weston was just all over the place tonight. Yeah, I, I don't know how many times we said his name while we were playing, but uh, we definitely said it uh, multiple times, and he was, you know, there were several players all over the field, but Weston was just the key to that defense, especially when Levi Reed went down. Uh, Weston was yeah. still out there just uh, hammering mm-hmm. away. So I'm um, very pleased to uh, give Weston. I mean, there were a couple other players that were out there, that uh, played well, of course, but uh, Weston was just 
you know, he was all over the field. The defense was the key to this game. So, yeah, the defense has been just great uh, for the Cavaliers. A big, big part of why they're 4-0 and uh, could potentially close out a perfect spring season next week at home against Canelan. I want to thank all our sponsors, uh, Hometown National Bank, LaSalle Body and Fender, Eureka Savings Bank, Town and Country Services, Illinois Valley Credit Union, Subway, Financial Plus Credit Union, St. Margaret's Health, the Gergovich Family Chiropractic, Bill Walsh Automotive, and First State Bank. We urge you to do business with all of those Cavalier sponsors. I want to thank John Small, engineering back at the studios. I want to thank Zach Shaw, who uh, provided the video. And I got a feeling a lot of Cavaliers are going to fans are going to yep. go back and watch this game again. Uh, and we'll have it on the yeah, go to YouTube. Say, remind us how to yeah, go to YouTube and see uh, search Starved Rock Media. And uh, we got the video and the audio with me and Mike on there for you to watch and let everybody know uh, can watch that game in its entirety and what a game it was. An instant classic, if you will, with LP winning over Morris tonight, 20-19. to 19. And, uh, partner, I guess this is the last time we'll do a game yeah, together. You'll be I, back in the PA role <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I, next I, week. So. I appreciate you guys allowing me to do this on the road yeah. games uh, for LPO, and uh, I enjoy it. I love coming out to the road games. Um, you know, we've done this for several years yeah. now, and uh, even going back when we did all the games um, every every uh, game of the season. So I do appreciate it, and it's fun. And, yeah. Um, Yes, I'll be back on the PA at uh, Howard Fellow Stadium next Friday night against Caneland, and uh, hopefully we'll uh, be able to call uh, another Cavaliers victory. Yeah, I'd love to say, you know, let's have a packed house. Obviously, things are different. Correct. Let, let's hope that uh, LP takes the allotment of tickets that are available right. and get as many Cavalier fans out there because yeah. tonight was a great team in Morris, and next week is going to be another great team coming to town. Right, and of course, you know, obviously with all the social distancing and right. the COVID restrictions and whatnot, you know, obviously we have to play by the rules, but, you know, at least the Cavs are getting to play. You right. Know? I mean, you know, you look at Mendota, they just uh, lost the rest of their season. Yeah. Other teams have lost the rest of their season, Sandwich, of course. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, you know, for the Cavaliers to be able to play five games this year, um, obviously if they win them all, that would even be better. But uh, I think the Cavs uh, players are just happy that they're able to play and uh, show what they're made of. So uh, just a springboard to next year and going forward. Yeah, again, uh, program-defining win. When you yep. beat teams yes. like Sycamore, Caneland, and Morris, and you could tell how important the players, the fans, everybody kind of knew how much of a win – this was to beat a team with the M at the center of the field Boy, yeah, on their home field, a, a team that is at state titles. Yeah, I mean, could. but right behind us in the press box is a list of all their state titles their state runner ups. So, um, well, you can see again. the coaches hugging yes. themselves out yes. on, the, on the field because they just know how important a victory like this is. And, you know, you with the youth, you know, the youth kids, hopefully they're going to be able to watch yep. this game on YouTube, like you said, yep. and just see, what Cavalier football is all about. And, uh, you know, they're turning it around. You know, they had that playoff run. Right. Uh, not last, you know, the year before. Mm -hmm. And, of course, losing to Rochester, you know, a perennial state final. Right. But um, it's just, you know, it's just a continuation of what they have done over the last couple of years. And uh, Coach Medina is, you know, I know he, he's trying to build this program and he's doing a great job. Yes, he is. Congratulations to all the uh, coaches tonight in uh, savoring this victory over the Morris Redskins. Uh, that'll wrap it up. For uh, Mike Porter, Jeremy Aiken, Zach Shaw here at uh, Morris High School. LP wins over the Redskins 20-19. to Hopefully you enjoyed this broadcast. We'll wrap up the spring season next Friday night at Howard Fellow Stadium. Have a great weekend. We hope you enjoyed this.